Help, this basement smells weird. Oh. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh. Ah, hello. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Hi. <laughs> hello. Hi everyone. Party, what the hell? What the fuck? Five gift subs. Thank you so much. Too cool for you. Thanks for the resub. Zabubu, thanks for the resub. Hi. <laughs> Hi everyone. Uh -huh. It's been one minute since you've streamed. Holy shit. Yeah, it's been like a whole whole ass minute. It's been like a minute and change or something like that. Uh, oh, wait, I actually zoomed in. Hold on. Who's saying hi? I gotta like get back in my in my mojo. I gotta get back in my swing. Nut. 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 <laughs> Doki, thanks so much for the resub for eight months. Companion Cube, holy cow, thanks for the resub for three months. Massage, Massage! Eight months already? I swear I was subbed to you for a much shorter time. Yeah, right? Everything doesn't, everything feels shorter and longer at the same time. Yo, Massage, thanks so much for the resub. Thank you so much. Uh, people saying hi, Jake's, Jake's hi. Goonhead, Companion Cube, hello, Andros, the Boo Boo, Danny Bub, Master Jeremy, a guy, hello, Arthur Dodgem, yo, 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 uh, demo disc, hi, hi, welcome, how are you? <laughs> wow, the ass minute, yeah. Okay, wait, I'm, I'm behind. Danny, hi, Master Ty, Banana Man, 9471, hello, 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 Griffey was taken, hello, uh, Banana Man, Thanks for the confetti. Rocco, thanks for the confetti. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi everyone. How, how's everyone doing? How are, how are all of you? I know I haven't been in, around for a while, but not. you know, you know, like my life's not that interesting. I, I, I would just, you know, I'm, 
What's going on with all of you? Hello, um, me as Pip. Thanks so much for the, thanks for 100 bits. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, I, oh my God. <laughs> Hello, anyone who's just, um, who's just tuning in for like a stream for the first time, welcome. And for all of you who are returning after my longer than I expected hiatus, uh, Welcome back. Thanks so much for sticking around. Thanks for, uh, I don't know. I, I haven't streamed in like, oh, I'm looking at my calendar. I don't know. It's been like three, three weeks or so. It's been like three weeks. It's been a pretty long break for me. And, uh, I don't know. I noticed that people were still like subscribing and like gifting subs and stuff while I was away i was just like what why are people doing this what so i just wanted to say thank you like i i really appreciate that arafem thank you so much for the resub thank you um i don't know now i want to i'm just working on editing some clips from last weekend oh yeah doki you had your whole you had your whole vtuber debut last week i yeah i caught the beginning of that which you know but i i hope the rest of that was fun and cool oh. Holy shit, pizza, <laughs> holy pizza poop, Arafem, what the hell, what the, what the flip flam and flam and flibbin, what the pepperoni pizza on a popsicle stick, I'm saying words, thank you so much for 10 freaking gifty wobbies, gift the blubbles, thanks for the globble glibbles. <laughs> Thanks for the 10 gift subs. What the hell? What? What? I didn't, I didn't do anything. I literally haven't done anything for a month almost. And now I'm coming back and you're giving me 10 gift subs. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, I felt the press for, to be honest, for the past couple weeks, but I feel that I'm getting out of that. That's okay. Yeah, to be honest, like, I... Oh my god. Seven months of being a nutty buddy? You know what this means. Oh no, it didn't read <laughs> it didn't read it. It probably thought it was spam. <laughs> I'll say it. Seven 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 for the resub, thank you. And holy, holy, holy halibut. <laughs> we got the level five hype train. What the fuck? What? Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, jeez. I was just saying, yeah, I kind of wasn't planning on taking such a long break, but like literally I'm like, uh, I'm gonna take a little break. I had like this potential, um, like gig type thing that I was maybe going to get. It was like an art gig for this company. I don't know if I'm allowed to say, I, I won't say, but, um, and it was kind of like this cool thing. It was like, oh, I was going to have this cool opportunity to, to do like this freelance project for like a few weeks for this company. And it would have been like something really good to have on my resume and it would have made like a good chunk of money. And I was like, oh, this is going to be so cool and I was all prepared and it really seemed like they were going to pick me because they literally told me that they were leaning towards picking me. It was like between me and one other person and they were like, uh, just so you know, we're like kind of leaning towards you. And I was like, okay, cool. So my parents went on a vacation to uh, Florida and I was invited, but I was like, no, I shouldn't go because I'm probably going to get this thing and they're going to need me to work on this with them. You know, like, they're going to need me. But then... But then... Uh, Jack... No, it's not Pixar. <laughs> but then... They ghosted me for, like, a week after saying this stuff and being like, Okay, we're going to send you something on Friday or Monday. They, they kind of... Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> I forgot about this. Oh. They kind of ghosted me for, like, a week. 
and I was just like, what? Huh? And I was like trying to get touch. And then they were like, oh, sorry, we regret to inform you that we've chosen, we decided to not go forward with you as the illustrator. And I was like, damn, what the hell? You can't even, and they didn't even tell me why when I asked, like, oh, like, what can I improve on? But nope, they didn't tell me anything. It was just like, I was just like, huh? That wasn't like everything that was happening. I had a lot of personal stuff going on too, but like, that was part of the reason I took the break. And then I just had a bunch of crazy stuff happening also, just personal life poop. So the first week of my break was barely a break. It was not a break. It was like, it was just stress the week. It was just the week, the week became stress. Stress was reincarnated into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and Saturday and Sunday also. And it was just all of that at once and it was the worst thing ever and i was like oh my god uh, so i extended the i extended my break and to be honest I, I i definitely i feel like i needed it i needed it because i needed to reassess my life <laughs> my goals my aspirations and i just needed to like get started on a bunch of stuff that i've been putting off for a while so big giant life spiel out of the way thanks so much for i don't know for being patient and waiting i i appreciate that <laughs> and we got what it was what is this hype train about choo choo hype lurk it's like a giraffe lurking i guess gosh but yeah i got ghosted by a corporation <laughs> uh bad champion one this is my first stream here oh welcome welcome thanks for popping in did you find me through twitter or did you find me through instagram because i i made that stupid little l wee wee comic and for some reason on instagram it like exploded and like has like over twenty thousand likes and i'm like what i barely ever go on instagram so i don't know how it works but like for some reason that that little comic i made is like popping off on Instagram. <laughs> El Wee Wee. Fantashiro, hello. Oh yeah, and Skylar's here too. Hi Skylar. Hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Chester told me to follow you. Oh, yo. <laughs> yeah, thanks Chris, if Chris is here. <laughs> yeah, no, Chris is awesome. Chris is pog. So thanks, thanks for, thanks for checking me, checking me out, <laughs> checking me out. <laughs> no, no, don't do quote sixty nine. No, <laughs> no. Just golf. Just golf is here too. Hi, just golf. Oh my god, and Chris is here. Chris, hi. Hello. <laughs> oh my god, everyone's. Everyone's here. I don't really know what I was planning on doing on this stream. Um, I was just like, yeah, I, I really just want to talk and potentially draw some stuff. I don't know what to draw, but I might do some drawing. <laughs> oh yeah, I think yeah, that was that was a Delta Rune stream. That was I don't know why that sentence came up. <laughs> I feel like I was reading something. I feel like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. The the further, the more time passes, the more that like the quotes on the quote list are just going to become more and more like undiscernible. Like we're not going to be able to like decipher them anymore. It's going to be like, why, why did I say like, like throat the banana? Why did I say that? You know, like what? <laughs> and we're not going to know why. We're not gonna know why, and you know, maybe that's fine. Maybe that's fine. I lost the sub, oh no. Well, I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> did you get one and then it didn't like go through or did it just expire? But gosh, I, I've missed, I've missed streaming. I've been like, 
I don't know, I really appreciate the time that I had to not worry about streams because I kind of realized that like that y'all are evil and try and kill me all <laughs> with explosions. And, you know, that wasn't healthy. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know, I kind of just realized that I was like stressing out a lot about streams and it kind of put me in this weird like headspace where like even though I like told myself like oh it doesn't matter like the views and the and the whatevers and the engagement and the doing certain things like blah 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 I don't know I got very like I got very what's the word um I don't want to say obsessive but like neurotic about it where I was just like ah, like I was just I was just stressed out and I, it wasn't like solely because of the streams it's kind of because I feel like I was putting way too much importance on them because like the act of streaming does not stress me out it's usually just feeling like it's super important and that the stream has to be really good and that I have to be funny and that blah 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 and that I have to have things that I can clip from it and blah 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 like that kind of stress was kind of like that was where I was coming from everything like surrounding the streams not the streams itself because I really enjoy the streams itself and I miss I miss doing these I missed I miss chatting with y'all I missed getting sweaty because I'm getting sweaty now and I'm like man I haven't sweat like this in a while it's been a minute been a minute since I've sweat like this <laughs> I don't know why I, sh I sweat when I start streaming like before the stream starts I'm always like eh, it's a little cold in here and then I start and then I start, and I guess I move my hands a decent amount when I talk. Maybe that's why I'm sweating? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm getting sprayed. <laughs> Spray me. Spray me! Mario's a twonk? When did I say Mario is a twonk? <laughs> well, I can guess when. I just, that's, that's funny. <laughs> it's called Fashion Sweaty. <laughs> Oh, Percy, oh. Also, Percy, I thought you had work. Uh, has it not started yet? Or are you being sneaky? Raven Dream, okay, hello, hello. We just be nutting with the buddies. Yeah, we're nutting with the buddies. We're nutting in the butts. Um, hey, Jackie, mind if I... Oh, hold on. Welcome back. Macri! Yo, thank you so much for the resub. Hi. Oh, and I got your email. I don't know if you saw my response to your email, but Nakari sent like a really nice um, email to me. Like, I think it was like a week after I took my break or so. And it was just really nice. And I was like, oh, this is a really nice email. Sorry, I don't mean to like call you out if like you didn't want people to know. But um, I got a really nice email from Nakari. Totally did see your email. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad. I saw yours. It was really cool. And your VTuber looks really nice. Uh, you've made very, very good progress. Not that I've seen it from the start, but like, it looked good to me. I was like, ooh, ooh, very cool. Very cool. <laughs> well, all good to see you again, Jacker. Hi, Saxon. Hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. I don't say welcome a lot. This is like... These streams are the only time I really say welcome. Unless I'm saying you're welcome. But... <laughs> you know, I don't have many opportunities in life to welcome people. You know, like, welcome. Unless I hold a, a bash, a shindig. <laughs> A parte, if you will. Which, yeah. Do I tell that story? I don't know. Maybe later, maybe later. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? What was it? <sighs> hmm. I forgot what I was saying, like, a few minutes ago. <laughs> How are you doing, Jacka? Oh, I'm doing I'm doing all right. I I'm doing better. I had my break 
and it was good. And things are going to be kind of different going forward. Uh, I want, I definitely want to talk about that. Um, hmm. My mind is like blank right now. I forgot that this happens to me sometimes. When I'm, <laughs> sometimes when I'm streaming, my, my brain just goes empty. Just springs a leak. Oh no. Oh no. That's what I forgot. I didn't fill up my water bottle. My water bottle's empty. <laughs> Don't you just hate when you forget item number two you were going to talk about when number one took you forever to chat about? Yeah, I do. <laughs> we're on like item three or four and I completely forgot. Welcome back to the streams. To the streams. <laughs> streams. Samuel, Samuel Jenkins, thanks so much for the resub. For 12 months, the prime. Prime resub, 12 months. Thanks for that from you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the... Thank you. I'm glad to... I'm glad to be back. To be honest. I gotta hydrate. Oh, God. Okay, I have, like, two... I have, like, two... Sips left. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, stinks this. I, I use he slash they for pronouns. As of right now. As of now. Um, hope that answers your question. Where the brain cells went. Where the brain cells at? I will be, I will be right back because I, I need water. I can't stream without water because then I go like, <clears throat> I start like dying. Which I'm I'm constantly dying, but it's it becomes at a at a, <laughs> I start dying at a faster rate when I don't have water when I'm not hydrated. Am I yeah? Because I'm a fish. Everyone always says I'm a fish. Well, not everyone, but like there's been a few people who have showed up to streams and they're just like, "Are you a fish?" And I'm like, "Um, <laughs> uh, I don't think so." Okay, I have like one more sip, so I'm gonna take this one last sip. Thank you, Olive. Also, Olive! Olive! Okay, that was actually a big sip. I still have one more. Mm. <laughs> Refreshing and delightful. Oh, so very frightful to not have water in my pipe hole. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. I will truly be right back. Uh, what's my button? My BRB button. I will BRB. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Whew, why am I so sweaty? I haven't sweat like this in a in a blue moon. How long is a blue moon? And why are they called blue moons? Um Yo. Eh. Oh my god, are you guys debating what Hi Jack, how are you <laughs> what doing? Macamo is? How was your break? 
Didn't <gasps> know you would be streaming this early. Yeah. Hi, Maui. Hello. Thank you so much for the resub for eight great months. Thanks so much. Um, yeah, I'm streaming. I don't know. I wanted to stream earlier today because I don't know. I haven't streamed in a while and I didn't want to be up super late and like delaying it and stuff. I guess. I guess I didn't want to be up late. I don't know where it is. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Blue moons are rare. Blue moons are rare. Yeah, don't blue moons happen like... Don't they happen like once a month? Isn't like a blue moon like once a month? Or something? Uh, wait. <laughs> Uh, it's not that I'm reading. Just a new so I was wondering. No, 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 you have to be sorry. Uh, it's, it's fun. There's no real, like, specific answer. Um, in the way olden days of yore, when I was first designing this character, uh, I was kind of making them, like, a cat, but it kind of just, like, then I added, like, the blushy mask thing, and the tail became poofier, and stuff and then it was like now it's like not really a cat it be kind of be it, it doesn't necessarily even look like a cat so it kind of just became like the smorgasbord of different things so it's kind of a rite of passage for for people of some sort to like be like what is your oc what is it what what, what is he what what am i looking at what's what is going on what did, why are my eyes being assaulted by this creature, this being, this beast, this, this freak of nature. When I joined, I legit thought Jacko was a, an anthropomorphic nut. Yeah, well, I mean, I got the hat. That was like, kind of, kind of part of the original idea. Um, well, okay, maybe I will draw a little bit. I'll draw a little bit, whatever. Hold on. Art. Also, let me know if like my microphone's too loud in any way because, um, or if it's like peaking or whatever, because I moved it so it's closer to my face. And then I also, I lowered the volume on it so it wouldn't like destroy anyone's ears. But if it's, uh, oh yeah, wait, oh, I forgot. To <laughs> I forgot to take this off. Yeah, I'm drawing B-movie backgrounds for a, a project of my friends. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I was working on this today. B-movie, yeah, this is Hunnex. There, there's gonna be, I'm working on other ones too. <laughs> I'm telling you, um, high school slash freshman year of college, me would have like gone insane. Like getting the, the chance to draw B-movie stuff for money because I was like, I was like obsessed with the B movie in like the stupidest way. Like I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny to be like memeing about the B movie. I was like, oh my God, the B movie. Oh, oh. Like I had a B movie script t-shirt cause I thought it was like, I, th I don't know. I thought it was a personality. <laughs> was like this is my personality. I like memes and B movie. <laughs> 2016 Jack, yeah, it was 2016 me was, was whack. 2016 Jacka was wacka. No, no doubt about it. I, if I went back in time, I would probably punch myself. I would be like, shut up. <laughs> Stop it, please. Get a better shirt. Make yourself look less annoying. <laughs> and uh, don't make memes your entire personality. <laughs> uh. Twenty sixteen was a grim time for all forms of humor. Really, it really was. That was like peak. I, I'd like to think that twenty sixteen, around that time, was like peak uh, cringe culture, like cringing at stuff and being like, "Oh, that's cringe." <laughs> but at least for me. Oh my God, anonymous cheer. I don't. Oh, that's just an anonymous cheer. That's not a username. Whoever you are. 
Whoever you are, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the 100 bits. Leader Nutigator, uh, bye Jeskov. Thanks so much for popping in. It's been a, I feel like it's been a minute. I mean, it's been a minute for me, but I feel like it's been a minute for you too. Um, it was nice seeing you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day slash week. B-Movie's my favorite personality type. <laughs> oh, oh, why are you like this? I don't know, Zabubu. I don't know. The doctors have been trying to figure it out. They've been like poking and prodding all over. I don't know. I don't know if they've been successful thus far. Um, let me just change. Just chatting to Art. Butterfly hat ghost guy. Butter what? Oh, it's. <laughs> oh, it became. It became a friendly word. What'd you say? Fuck that ghost guy. Who's the ghost guy? Who? Who's the ghost guy? What? Is there a ghost guy in B-Moving? I don't know. What? <laughs> Hi, Tonic. Welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. I'm giving you the welcome wagon. Welcome to the wagon. The shaggin wagon. Uh... <laughs> Um, oh, the anonymous cheer. Oh, the anonymous cheer is the ghost guy. Oh, okay. Are you the anonymous cheer? I feel like it's you. If you have like the audacity to, to butterfly someone, I feel like it's gotta be you, you know? <laughs> Why would I do that? I don't know. Why would you be... Why would you be mad at the anonymous cheer? Unless it was you. Or someone you knew. Hmm. I'm gonna crack this case wide open. You ate the B-movie script while trying to memorize it and your body hasn't passed it yet? No, I never ate the B-movie script. I had the shirt. And I think I almost had it on a mug. Uh, but even on the shirt, it was like illegible. You could kind of make out the words sort of if you knew what the words were, but like if you didn't know what it was and you looked at it, like it was just printed so small that like it was almost impossible to read. <laughs> what am I going to draw? Um, I don't know. I'm going to warm up. I'll warm up. I haven't like drawn today i mean i've drawn i i was working on the, the b-movie background and like some other stuff but i haven't like drawn like characters or anything but i'll start with like a little refresh of this character because it's been a while since i've explained makamo for like a minute, so we could start with that. Why not? Bum, bum. Oh, no, there's only one leaf. Ugh, it's been a while since I've listened to this playlist too. Kind of missed it. <laughs> I kind of missed the the video game tunes. Speaking of shirts, did you ever get that dream shirt of yours? I did. I did, but it didn't get spaghettied. I did not get spaghetti dumped on me. Uh, the deal was I was supposed to wear this dream shirt in front of my friend, like for like the next, like, I think it was like the next five times we hung out or something, but I didn't see him a lot. Like he stopped kind of showing up to little events we would have. So I wore it a few times. I wore it for Halloween, like twice. I wore it this one night. Um, I don't think I wore it the appropriate amount of times, like for the bet, but I wore it a decent amount. <laughs> this definitely looks a little off. Hi. Who said hi? Nitrogen oxide, hi. You're back. I'm back. 
are you talking about? This is this stream is about me being back. You can't be back. You can't be back to my back. That just makes you forward. I think. Right? <laughs> Ow! Dream is in the YouTube? Yeah, Dream... Dream is in D-R-E-A-M. Minecraft God. Dream. Have you ever ordered Macamo in an Italian restaurant? No. Is that a is that actually a, a dish? Is that actually a food item? This looks a little off, but whatever. It's just a little it's a little warm up sketch. Um. So I came up with this character, and it was kind of like this little nut helmet guy thing. Very, very simple. Um, and I called him Macamo. And I actually was planning on changing the name of my channel to Macamo or making a new channel. I'm just calling it Macamo. Um, and having like my avatar be a, a version of this, but a bit more like um, a bit different. I, there was also like a taller version, if I can remember. All right, there was a version with like this kind of. It's kind of more like a monster looking thing than like a furry, <laughs> I guess. Kind of, kind of similar to like Bomberman or like Jack Frost from like Persona and those games. Um, and then I had this version, blah, blah, blah. That was a bit taller. Do, 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 do. He had like a little like twig tail, something like that. And he was kind of more like a plant nut hybrid monster thing. I think he had a tie. Jack Frost came from Shin Megami. Yeah, oh yeah, I know that. I just said Persona because more people know that. It's father and son. I, I think my original head canon lore was that this one on the right was like the older brother or like cousin or something like that. Like that was kind of like my original sort of idea. And I still like this design, honestly. Like, I feel like this could even just be its own character, because it's it's different enough from, you know, my VTuber, where this could totally just be its own thing. Like both of these, to be honest. It's the tie made of a blade of grass? Ooh. Ooh, I never thought of that. Maybe. That could be cool. That's 
pretty, uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> I like that idea. I'm gonna steal it if I ever use these characters. I love them. Look at those teeth. Yeah, I like the I like the teeth. The bleh, the bleh, the bleh. Villainous Fluffernutter. I wouldn't even think that these two are Fluffernutters at all, because they don't have the fluff. They have the nut, but they don't have the fluff. They're the Fluffernutter without the fluff, so they're just nutters. I don't know. <laughs> The version actually looks like a Steven Universe character or Wander Over Yonder. Yeah. Yeah. I won't lie, like, my my art is definitely somewhat inspired by, like, pretty much things on, like, Cartoon Network and stuff, like, Adventure Time and, like, Steven Universe. And all that. What if they remove the helmet? I don't know. I don't know what's under these. They might have, like, Chow kind of heads. Like, maybe it would be, like... Like, just like a little kind of bloop up there. Which would definitely look weird. Or something like. I don't know. I never thought of that. <laughs> I never thought of that with, with these guys. These guys, it's like the helmet is. Definitely more, more attached um, than my VTuber, than Makama. Can I make a Jack a Goblin? Jagoblin? I don't know. <laughs> Would that just be an extra green? I already am kind of a goblin, I think. No, hello. Hi, hi uh, Twix or Clawford. Hello, welcome, welcome. How are you doing on this? There's the bald <laughs> or an afro. What if there's an afro beneath? <laughs> Don't Macamos have cat ears? Not these versions. These are like very old sketches. And I, I would consider these ones more plants than cats or, or cat-like things. I don't know. I Maybe they would, but I feel like they wouldn't fit under here. So, okay. So we had these ones. We had these guys. Then, 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 I like the idea of the nut helmet, and I put it on a cat. <laughs> but this was like, like a cat cat. Like, this was like a black cat. It had ears poking out of the helmet. Your helmet's made out of nuts? Yes. <laughs> uh, or like one big nut? I don't know. It's like a nutshell. That's why it's brown. Kind of like, you know, like a macadamia shell or something like that. Am I Bomberman? I don't know. I don't know. I have not... I've... I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't think so. Whoop. This one was also like that with the leaf. I think this one I gave like a hoodie. And this one I was going to call Makamo. Or actually no, this one I was just going to call Mo. Think this cat. 
Um, just imagine that its the whole face is like black. Hi. A little hard to do in this like sketchy style, but just imagine it. Sona! Sona! Hi! <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, plant and animal and mineral. Mineral? Like a rock? I don't know. Uh, Ra Robin X Live, thanks for the follow. And Twix or Crawford, thanks for the follow. Sorry, I've been kind of missing follows today. Mac or Mo? This one was gonna be Mo. I've been like, I've had like the name Macamo just in my head for a while. And I would just kind of apply it to different characters that had any kind of nut theme. Like I called this one Nakamo, and then I was just gonna call this one Mo for a while. This one just had like a, a hoodie, <laughs> a hoodie on. like more of a, a cat tail like that the legs are kind of weird I don't know we're still warming up we're still warming up This was like a little cat character with a nut hat. What if you make a stream drawing weavers? What are weavers? Macamo sounds like the name of an Adventure Time character, like Bimo. I can see how the current Jackademia came to be. Yeah, so it was like, I like the Shelmet. <laughs> is this the Shelmet or is this one the Shelmet? I guess these ones are more, it goes like around the whole head. <laughs> Justin Weaver? Who's Justin Weaver? That sounds familiar. I don't know Justin Weaver. Oh, viewers? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> probably. That's probably what that meant. Oh, Fantasy, that was you. Oh. <laughs> viewers. Um, I don't know. To be honest, I, I don't think I would do that. At least not for right now, because I would kind of consider that like doing a commission at some point, you know? I'm not really like, I don't know. I, I, I don't knock people who do like art giveaways or whatever, but for me where it's like, hmm, I don't know. I, I wouldn't want people like joining just in hopes of getting like their character drawn or whatever, you know? 
Not that there's anything like inherently wrong about it. That's just not my style, I think. Aries Pixie, hello. Are commissions open? No. <laughs> Case by case. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much like case by case. I don't have like open commissions, but like some people have just like come up to me and like asked me like, hey, could you do this thing for me? And but typically the ones I say yes to, it's like people I know, you know, like I'm doing the B movie thing for my friend um, and his YouTube channel. So and it's not Mads for anyone, anyone who's wondering. I, I've considered opening commissions at some point, but I don't know. I, I haven't. I haven't ever bit the bullet. There was one time I was doing a Kofi, co coffee, Kofi commissions, sort of, but those kind of sucked. I was literally like, "Oh, if you give me five, give me five dollars, and I'll, I'll sketch you something." But then I would go like, I'd go too hard on the sketches, and. Um, they would like turn out really good <laughs> because I would spend like two to three hours on them. And I was like, geez, I don't think doing two to three hours worth of work for $5 makes much sense, to be honest. What's Ko-Fi? Why do so many furry artists have it? Um, Ko-Fi is like, it's basically like a tip jar, sort of. Uh, it's like a website and you know, it's not, you don't have to do commissions through it. A lot of people don't. It's typically just for tipping. Like, oh, I want to tip this person. But like, I think the way they get around it is they say that the money goes towards buying buying users coffee. That's why it's called Ko-Fi. It's like, oh, I'll buy you a coffee. Because I don't know if you're like allowed to just tip without like money getting taken in some form. But you are if it's for something so it's like it's weird it's like this weird like workaround where like you could tip people like the full amount or like very close to the full amount without having to worry <laughs> typical one hour jack of sketches hey i'm i am slow <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Tommy! Tommy! Tommy, 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 Yo! Hello! Hi, Tommy! Thanks so much for the raid! Alola! Alola! Were you playing Pokemon? Don't read this message. Oh, I'll try not to. I just did, though. <laughs> Yo! Uh... Louis Sagaz, thanks so much for the resub for two months. Also, hi, Tommy. Hi, Vapor. What's up? What were you guys doing? Shout, shout out to Tommy and shout out to Vapor. Both very cool streamers and very nice people. Definitely check them out if you desire. And I'm telling you, you should desire. I'm going to implant a desire into your mind subliminally to check out Tommy and Vapor. <laughs> Subliminally. 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 This isn't subliminal? What are you talking This is... This is subliminal. It's beneath... It's beneath the liminal. Sorry, Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke today. It's so much fun. Holy cow. I've never done... A Nuzlocke. Because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared and I feel like it would take a long time. And... And... I don't know. I, I'm i always like, oh, I should save that and then make it into a video. So I should wait until I'm ready to do a video about... Doing a Nuzlocke. Or whatever. And then I just never do it. Liminal is actually a word, did you know? Yeah, like liminal spaces or whatever. Don't be scared, play Soma. Somebody's nuts. Got him. Yeah. 
a nut lock. <laughs> that sounds like wedlock, but like with a nut. What would that be? What's wedlock? Is wedlock... What is wedlock? Is that when you're like locked into marrying someone? Or is it like the opposite? Weblock? Webster lock? That would be a weblock. I'm talking about a weblock. Wedlock makes bastard kids? What? It just means marriage? Two Pokemon are What? I'm confused. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna look this up. Kids born out of marriage? Wed. Lock. Meaning. Oh, it's the state of being married. Oh, and out of wedlock. Out of wedlock means the natural parents are not legally married to each other. So a wedlock baby is a baby born when one's parents are not married. Oh, okay. So I don't know what nutlock would mean. <laughs> Add block. <laughs> weblock is where urban spiders live. <laughs> weblock. Well, weblock sounds like an old... Yeah, like European city. Weblock. I love this character. Remind me of so many different things: Jack Frost, Jojora, Chow, Bomberman, and various kitty cats. <laughs> uh, hi, Pepperina. This was the. I was going through this because someone asked like how I came up with Makamo, my YouTuber character avatar thing and i was kind of just going through like the different iterations of this character i had for a while before i came to this one i guess uh it started with this then i made a longer one then i made a cat one um and then i made like a weird amalgamation of like all of these hold on let me let me expand dong. Damn, that did not expand as much as I thought. Expand! Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, then what happened after this one? Then, then I came up with the circle kind of helmet design, which went like that, but it also had a bottom part. Like that. And it started like a cone. Which in hindsight, I don't like the cone. <laughs> I do not like the cone. It looks like a weird dunce hat thing. But the character started like that. And it was supposed to be... It was kind of like I took the... I don't know, I just took this other kind of helmet design. I kind of just schmoobled it onto this. And there was also a hood. Like it was just so, it was so crowded, this design. I'm not gonna like do a full thing. It was, it was pretty, it was pretty similar. Ah, I can't draw right now. What happened to my drawing skills? Where did they go? I don't know. Blah. Ew. <laughs> that looks bad. Okay. Weird arm aside. Weird arms. Ugh. So many lines intersecting. I'm very messy today. I didn't really do a warm up. Schmobile these. But yeah, um, thanks so much for the raid, Tommy. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, I'm Jack Adamia. I make animations on YouTube. Although it's been a while since I've done my last one, I'm working on another one. And I also talk about things also. 
my next video, I'm going to be talking about Pokemon. I'm actually, I've made a bunch of par progress with the script over the past week. So, it will happen. It will happen. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, I stream on, I stream here also. But it's been a bit. I, I took like a three week break. And this is my first day back. So, thanks for, thanks for popping in. Thanks for the raid. Jack is a clown. Huh? I'm not a clown. Happy to see you back. Woo! Woo! I think that's why some people thought you were a ferret, because that that blush slash the dark patch on your face. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this design. had like a zigzaggy kind of tail, but it also had like the, <laughs> wait. It also had like the long noodle legs. And the lore for this one was that it was a cat of some sort, and it had like little, but it was more like a monster, a cat nut monster, and had cat ears under the helmet that you could see if you pulled the helmet back. So that was like the lore for this version. But even then, it didn't have like a cat tail. So even then, that was kind of stretching it. It just said cat ears, I guess, beneath. And that was like the idea. That was like the idea with the helmet. It's like, oh, and then you could, you could pull the helmet back and it's kind of more like a hood. Which then, I don't know why I had this one also have a hood. <laughs> like it's got, it's got so much going on in the neck area. It's got like the lower part of the, of the helmet. It's got. Hi that captain yo captain x thanks so much for the resubby dubby bubby dubby eight months great months um pizza pasta thank you <laughs> thanks for the resub oh, ah, my hat it's been a while since my hat came off ah. uh who did that louisa guys thanks so Thanks so much. And we're on a silver. Thanks for the follow. Nut mammal. Nut mammal. Yeah, so. Yeah, it was a cat. And then. And then gradually the design just kind of grew from here. I like uncluttered the neck and then it became like um did someone say comeback? What don't call it a comeback? Yo Alex Taco 9298, thanks so much for the resub. No Taco <laughs> Taco, thanks so much for the resub for 13 months. Oh my god. Oh my god. Cat fox otter thingy with Jiggy. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> so then what, what, where did I go from here? Then I got rid of the top. Whoop. I got rid of the top. And I added in like the hair and the whiskers. And there was the blush slash mask. And 
And I made it into a turtleneck instead of a hood. And this one... This one had, like, the black... The whole turtleneck was black, except for the sleeves. Because that kind of made it easier to, like, animate. In my opinion. Oh. Uh. Wait, hold on. Uh, thanks, Percy. <laughs> Probably gotta ban that guy. Two, whoever that was. Um, turn like like in Gumball, like Gumball, Amazing World Gumball. Does Gumball have a turtleneck? And then it kind of had like the weird legs. Wait. Oh no. Need more space. Hi. Who said hi? Mega, hi! Mega! Mega! We found in a. Wait, what? <laughs> what was found in a landfill? Oh, the, the turtleneck and gumball? I did not know that. And Mocha, yo, Mocha Chino. Hi, Mocha. Are you redesigning jacket? No, not a redesign. I'm going through like, <laughs> I'm going through like all the design phases I had for jacket slash Macamo. Someone asked, and it's been a while since I've done this. I don't know. I like to reflect and. What not? This helmet is even like. This isn't even how I drew it. I don't know why this helmet's so long. <laughs> I'm gonna fix that. Ah, eh, whatever, I'll leave it. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, you just redesigned my face through bees? <laughs> oh my god. That's funny. Was your turtle not canonically sourced from a landfill too? Um... No. <laughs> not a landfill. Uh, it was from a cesspool. Yeah, that's where it came from. I like the robot Jacka. Yeah, well, this one was more like, um, I, I'm assuming you're talking about this one. This one was more like plants monster thing. So like the legs and the arms are kind of like roots, sort of. This was definitely more nut than, uh... Fluff. <laughs> and Scout! Yo, what's up, Scout? What is up? We got a party going on. What is up? Bubba doo. Skiba da. Does Macmo have some sort of powers? The power of awful puns. The very bad nut puns. <laughs> Besides the power to nut, also the power to nut, yeah. That's a very powerful power. Top 10 powers. Nut. Okay. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, so you got this one. And then that one became This one became the current one. 
which I still have issues drawing sometimes, to be honest. Or not issues drawing, but like issues drawing consistently, I guess. <laughs> Try and be consistent, but it's, it's, it's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard to be consistent with art. But you know what? Consistency is overrated. Like, whatever, man. Like, whatever, man. Happy one year, Haka. Like, whatever, Always, man. Thank you for all the amazing content you've made and continue to share with us, Jakata Shy. Uh. Ah! <laughs> ah! Cheetah, thank you so much for the resub for 12 freaking, freaking, fracking months. What's the. Okay, so freaking can be like fucking, but what's fracking? Frucken? I don't <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks for all the amazing content you made and continue to share with us. Uh, I'm trying to make things that I feel proud of and like creatively fulfilled by. And I don't know, that's that's that is kind of something I wanted to talk about. Because I don't know, I don't to be honest, I, I really like streaming. It's very fun. Um, it's very fun, and I love interacting with all y'all. I don't know how creatively fulfilled it makes me, though. Like, if I'm gonna be, like, completely real with y'all... I don't know. I don't... It's it's weird, because it's like, you could put a lot of time into streaming, but not have, like, the same... I guess benefits you would have from like putting a lot of time into just only making like YouTube videos or something. Like if I took all the time I spent on streaming and poured that into YouTube videos, which, you know, I was, I've was i been trying to make YouTube videos, so I'm not blaming the streaming. Like I was having like a creative block for a while. Um, but I'm just saying like, hypothetically, having a butt ton of YouTube videos, I would probably, I don't know. I'd probably be doing better off, at least financially, for sure. And I would probably have more to, like, show for all the time. Like, I was like, oh, look at all these videos. You know, I could I could tell people to look at VODs, but not a lot of people want to watch VODs. Um, and yeah, it. I definitely don't view streaming, at least for me, as, like, the streaming itself is not creative. To me, it's like the stuff that goes into it is definitely creative, like making the VTuber and working on things for it. But like, I don't know. It's it's weird. It's weird. I've been trying to figure out what kind of balance I want to have with this and like other stuff I do, like drawing comics and videos and other stuff. Fracking is a thing. Oh. Oh yeah, fracking is a thing. <laughs> this whole channel is a fucking circus. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. No, I mean, you don't have to be sorry. I'm just being honest. Like, yeah, it's something to do for fun rather than for creativity. That's that's kind of what I've I've realized a bit more. Um, So yeah, I'm kind of trying to like reassess how I go about streaming. Because, I don't know, there's, it's, it's, um, it's definitely, I don't know, it's, it's a weird thing for me. And, like, to be honest, I'm sure I wouldn't care if I had, um, another job <laughs> of sorts because right now I just do freelance stuff and then I also try and make videos and I do the streams and junk which is why I was like pretty 
bummed that I didn't get that uh, gig for that company. Because I really wanted that one. Because that would have made a very big difference. And I would have been like, awesome, now I don't have to worry about money for a bit. Or whatever. Not that I have to, like, worry, worry for money. But, like, you know. I do have to make money to be able to, like, get things and eventually move out. Jack in 20 years. <laughs> Is that an old cat, man? Are you going to change your schedule? Uh, I'll talk about that. Um, Return of the Night. Yo, Random Artist, hi. Oh, yeah, this is Plock. It's saying, yeah, if you want to know the song, you can do an exclamation point song. And it should work. You can put big creativity, but the bad thing is it can only be done in really, really huge projects. Only example I can think of is Jerma. Oh, what, like with streaming? Yeah, like, um... Yeah, I'm not saying people can't be creative with streams. People can be super creative with streams. It's just, for me, it's... I don't know. It's a little... harder. And I want to try being more creative with them. But... It's kind of weird, because it's like... The method of... Growth... Growth, or whatever, if you want to... Think about that on... Like, Twitch and stuff. It's very different with Twitch than it is for like YouTube and stuff like that. With like YouTube, you make this product, a video, and you put it out and then, and then it's like done. And then you, know, you just see what happens with it. Twitch, it's like the things are live and streaming more doesn't guarantee that you'll get more followers or more people watching. Like you could stream like every day forever and still not have a lot of viewers or whatever. Like a lot of the growth with Twitch comes from stuff outside of it. Like if you have like other accounts or you do other things or whatever. So it's hard. It's like, it's, it's hard trying to justify putting a butt ton of time into like doing super creative big things on Twitch when it's not even necessarily going to help the Twitch channel. You know, you know what I'm saying? D do you understand me? I'm not even sure if I fully understand myself. Oh wait, Doki, are you are you leaving? Oh, you're not leaving? Wait. <laughs> so true. Yeah. The drawings are cute. Thanks. Let's look at the draw. Really, some people hit it, hit it big with a lucky raid. The lucky raids. Yeah, like they get raided by like, Germa. Does Germa ever raid people? <laughs> That one day I can create something that can provide people with a laid-back community someday. Yeah, like that's. I mean, I'm I'm very glad that like I get to stream and that like I'm not saying my streams aren't successful because they they definitely are. Like I don't know. I have people. I have you guys like subscribing to me and like helping to support it. Like if I didn't have that at all, it'd be much harder to like justify spending all this time. I guess doing them. I'm just saying, I don't, you know, like my, my plan for after college was to like focus on my YouTube stuff and like all my online art and also do freelance things and like see where that goes and hopefully get to a spot where like maybe that could support me in some fashion where I could move out. At the moment, it kind of doesn't. It's very inconsistent. Uh, I've had to deal with like depression and junk and like just not being able to like manage my time because I'm this I've discovered I'm kind of I, I'm not the best at that. I, I kind of suck at time management. 
I'm I'm trying to get better, and I I have like spurts where I do I do do I do do a lot better at that kind of stuff. But then I have like spurts where I really don't, and I just like have hard time and I've, I mean I've had stuff going on and I've been dealing with it and dealing with that stuff has definitely made it better so I'm hoping uh things will get better but I I am going to be starting to look into even just getting like a part-time job somewhere or whatever because I kind of didn't want to for the longest time because like part of me felt like oh if I like start looking for other jobs, it's gonna feel like I'm like quitting and like giving up on doing like YouTube stuff. And you know, I I, I don't want to. I didn't want to feel like that. I didn't want to feel like I was giving up on it. Even though I have had a lot of times where I'm just like, I don't even know if I want to do this, to be honest. Oh, Cheetah, you're going. Bye, Cheetah. Have a great stream. Take care. Yeah, bye. Thanks so much for the resub. And thanks for... Thanks so much for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful night. You can do both. You can do both. That's what I'm kind of starting to realize more. Um, you know, I've been... I, I had more time to think over my break and <laughs> over my life. I'm kind of juggling it well enough now. Honestly, like, I do think getting some other form of income or whatever that's stable would definitely make me a lot less stressed out over this stuff. And then I probably would make more stuff, ironically. I would have less time to do it, but I feel like I would. There would be way less pressure on it. And, uh,. That's kind of the thing. I, I get like frozen by the pressure. I'm like, I don't know if I can make that. Like, would that be successful? You know, I don't know if I can stream this because I don't know. A lot of people are watching this. Shall read and thanks so much for the thank you so much for the prime sub. Hi, thanks for being a nutty buddy. I've been forgetting to say that. <laughs> thanks so much. I'm going to hydrate. Oh, I want to got a stretch. Ugh. My back. The service is stable, if nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine being a teacher while streaming. What? What? I like seeing the evolution of your character. Each and every different iteration looks amazing. Oh, uh, thanks. Thanks, Nitrogen. Yeah. It's kind of funny. I almost feel like a bunch of these could just be completely different characters. The only like constant really between them, at least most of them, has just been the nut hat. <laughs> but even that, it used to be a helmet. This arm looks a little small. Imagine being a sailor while streaming. Yeah, how do you do that? What, what are you gonna do when you have to go in the submarine? Like, don't, you go in a submarine for like days at a time, don't you? I guess that would be your break. <laughs> right, bye guys, I'm going in the sub. Don't forget to sub while I'm in the sub. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making fun of it. I just, that's just funny. That's, I like that. <laughs> have a uh, submarine subathon. Do a subathon while you're in the submarine, if that would work. If you could stream from, I don't know, a thousand leagues under. A sub stream. The one looks like Chow with a nut hat. Yeah, like the little, this one. Yeah. Definitely Chow. Chow-esque. I'm gonna have to expand my canvas even more. Expand dong!
I don't know what those legs are. Eh, they look pretty good. Hey, everybody can't stay long, but I just wanted to stop by and Blue say yo. hi. So hi, I guess. Hi, I guess. Bluio, thanks so much for the resub for seven months. Thanks so much. Um, Thanks so much for popping by, too. I appreciate that. I say appreciate a lot. I have to. Are there synonyms for appreciate? I'm gonna look that up. Appreciate synonyms. I value that. Ooh, I value that. I value you taking your time out of your day to come here and pop by. <laughs> uh, oh, respect. I respect your decision to spend some time here. I prize, oh, I prize you. <laughs> I cherish, I cherish the time we spend together. Just say thanks for the money loser. Damn, what? <laughs> yeah, thanks for the dosh. Thanks for the, thanks for the big bucks. Blueyo, thanks. Thanks for the money sucker. Ha. <laughs> I treasure the moments we spend together forever. I admire you. <laughs> I hold in high regard. These are all the, the synonyms. I acknowledge. Ooh, I recognize. Ooh. Bro's gonna bounce now and go spend time with me at the time without Zabubu stopping me. Oh, Zabubu stopped you before. Thanks, Zabubu. Thank you. Thanks for thanks for keeping Doki under control. <laughs> now, bye, Zabubu. Th thanks for modding and squatting and globbing and all that. Uh, have a nice night. I'm back, JPEG. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm back from my break, and honestly, I'm feeling like I'm feeling refreshed. I'm feeling refreshed right now. I'm feeling uh, I am cherishing the time. <laughs> I'm cherishing this time that I have in this moment right now. You just said Zabubu was modding. No, I said you were modding. I was thanking you for the modding. I called Doki Zabubu. No, I said, I said Zabubu. Thanks for, thanks for keeping Doki under wraps. And then I was thanking Doki for modding and everything. No, <laughs> I feel like both of you didn't hear me, unless I got to go back and <laughs> analyze what I said. I did not confuse you two. I just I was talking. I talked to Zabubu first, and then Doki. Maybe I forgot to say Doki, but. Just, just get out of here. Just go. Just go. Endler, hi. Just get out of here, you big stupid animal. <laughs> uh, all right. Hi, Endler. How are you doing? <laughs> I don't have to worry if he's leaving. Wait, I didn't say bye to you, Zabubu. No, <laughs> I didn't say bye to you. I was saying bye to Doki, and then I was thanking you for keeping Doki from leaving earlier. That's what I was saying. Neither of you were listening. I feel like you're both are like in the voice chat, like yelling at each other or something. That's got to be what's going on. There's no other explanation. Bum, 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 bum. I like this little pose. I almost feel like I could like bring this arm out a little bit. You know, I might take this pose and turn it into like channel art or something. I like this. <laughs> you know, I kind of miss this chat. I miss this chat too. I missed it too. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? I um, admire this chat. I hold in high regard this chat. I hold in steam. I, in fact, I rate highly. I rate this chat highly. I am, uh, <laughs> I value this chat. I want to post Luigi. Why? What? Luigi. 
channel art uh yeah for like the panels and stuff like the about me section because i don't have any of that stuff and i was thinking like oh maybe i could draw some of that or sketch out ideas for that but i never got around to it <laughs> for a while yeah look i think i want to I'd appreciate things sounds like Undertale flavor text. I I sympathize with that analysis, Samuel. <laughs> you got me inspired to start doing world building stuff? I I don't know. I feel like I suck at world building. <laughs> I don't, I, I like make characters and stuff, but I, I don't know. Every time I picture them in a world, it always, the world itself always changes. Like I, I had like a kind of like idea where I kind of wanted to have like, like a slice of life webcomic or, or like animation type thing with, with this character, this version of Macamo. Um, the boy returns. Oh my God. Portmaster G, thanks for the resub. For 10 months, I'm back. I'm back, baby. I'm back, baby. I wanted to say I missed you in a totally non-parasocial way. Uh, yeah, I missed I missed I missed you guys in a totally non-parasocial way. <laughs> I gotta learn how to draw. I must overcome my crippling laziness. Well, well, I was saying to someone on Twitter earlier, um, I think like last week or something a good way to start doing things that you want to do okay okay the hardest part of doing anything is starting that's just like at least for me that's like the hardest part or one of the hardest parts like top 10 hardest parts that's like up there that's at least that's like the part that's always the most consistently hard starting if you need to move the goal posts to get yourself to start something, it is a hundred percent okay to do that. And when I say what I mean when I say move the goalposts, I mean like some people have it like in their mind, like, oh, I gotta start practicing drawing. I gotta sit down and I gotta put my ass on the seat and I gotta buckle myself in for like a half a day and study and, and you know, that's like big and intimidating. It's like, man, I don't I don't even know where to start. Uh you know, but you don't have to do it like that. You can move the goalposts to make starting feel way less intimidating. You can be like, okay, I have to draw. I'm going to make myself draw out for five minutes or even less. You could even do less. Like I need to draw out for two minutes. You know, I'm just going to sit down and I will draw for two minutes. And that's not very intimidating because two minutes, you could just be like, okay, oh, I drew a smile <laughs> and then I drew um, a carrot you know or whatever like i don't know what you would draw in two minutes but let's say you just start drawing once you start it's not that hard to keep going so you're kind of lying to yourself in a way not that you have to keep drawing after that but what i find is once i actually start then i i do whatever i'm doing for a bit longer you know i wouldn't actually only do it for two minutes even though i told myself i was going to do it for two minutes then i would probably start drawing and i might wind up drawing for like an hour or whatever so that's like a little brain hack that I kind of was learning and teaching myself last year, but I kind of forgot about it. It's hard to keep up with. Like, I'm not going to say it's like perfect and this will, this will fix your life and now you'll be productive, but it is a little tiny cheat thing. And I've kind of been rediscovering it, especially with writing because I don't know with writing stuff. I, I always feel like I have to be in this, the right mood and blah, blah, blah. But now I'm like, okay, no. I'm just going to make myself write for like between this time and this time. 
And whatever I get done, that's what I get done. And then usually once I start, I'm like, oh, wait, no, I, I, I can write some stuff right now. And then I write some stuff. You know, that's what I mean. It's, you, it's okay to, like, change the goalposts to make it more approachable. You know? You don't even have to be like, oh, I have to draw good. You can be like, oh, today I'm going to draw a bunch of stick figures. You know? Because even stick figures, there's, like, there's like rhyme and reason to stick figures. Like, some people probably start with stick figures that look like that. But I think we can all agree that stick figures that look like that with like are, are a bit better, you know? Like you could stylize stick figures too and learn how to draw more. <laughs> Even just through stick figures. But that's just one example. Well, holy cow, what's all these people following? Uh what is going on? Where are all you people coming from? I'm almost a little suspicious. What's going on? Say something. Pack New York Sam. Say something. Say something. Wait, someone peeled the nut? Oh, like JPEG. What's going on? Something? Okay. Wait, you're not who I told to say something though. What? <laughs> Where are all these people coming from? Something. What? I guess I gotta strip. I'm gonna strip and then I'm gonna... Uh, what am I gonna do? I'm going to... Turn on my light, because it's dark in here. It's dark in here. I hope they're not bots. Yeah, I'm getting weird... Vibes from all these follows. These don't feel real. Hmm. And if I feel like, are all the mods gone? Did all the mods just leave? Are we on our own? <laughs> I'll be right back. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is such... Yeah, these are definitely bots. They're not even showing up in my activity feed. Oh, and now the hat's back. <laughs> Thanks, Scout. Hmm, what should I do with these? I could turn off the... What is this? Actually, I don't know how to turn off the... Alerts. I could turn off the alert box. What is happening? I don't know. We're, I'm getting all these weird follows. And they're following like one by one. And it's weird. <laughs> and I'm naked. Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna just turn off the alert box for right now. I don't think there's anything I can really do at the moment. And they're not, they're not spamming anything, so... Maybe they would be spamming something, but I have, like, email verification on, so maybe that's saving us. I'll get back on PC. Oh, don't, don't worry about it, Doki. I, I don't think there's anything we can do. I just turned off the alert box. And Twitch, Twitch usually gets rid of... Um, Twitch usually gets rid of bot follows after like a few days. Hunger slash subscribers turn on subscribers only chatting. Hits of a hate raid. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Um, I have like the little... I have like that set up on my stream deck where I could, I could do that and I could clear out the stuff. So I'm prepared for that. But yes, thanks Chris. But it doesn't seem like they're spamming anything. It's just they're just weirdly following. <laughs> Eight raid, you haven't seen? Yeah, yeah, you haven't witnessed them, Zabu, because you kind of, uh, you kind of mostly watched me for a good amount of time. And uh, I was very, I was very lucky. I never really got hit with hate raids. 
I don't know why. But I'm not going to question it. Okay, what was I doing with all this? I don't know. Menacing. Menacing. Let me see. Even if it's like bot follows, it's weird because it it's not even like it's not even that many. I don't understand. And I think they stopped actually. I think I could turn the alert box back on. Maybe. It's not even that many. It was maybe like 30 or something. I'm back. What did I miss? Um, Like drawing wise, I could zoom out. Not that much, I think. Not that much. Okay. Um, well, now that I'm naked. I guess I gotta lay it all out there. Gotta lay it all out. Stop. <laughs> um, <laughs> I um, I want to try and do things differently with the streams. The schedule in the upcoming weeks is probably gonna be a little golly. weird. I might, <laughs> golly, I might like um. There's a chance I might default to like the typical times when I, you know, just feel like it. But I want to try doing streams differently for a little bit and just kind of like play around with it, even play around with different days and stuff. So if the schedules are all willy nilly soon in the coming weeks or so, uh, that's kind of why I kind of want to see what different approaches and see if I like any of those more. Um, like how <laughs> I was talking to Zabuba about this the other day, which is why Zabuba was being so coy, like a fish. <laughs> um, I might be trying to do more streams, but just have them shorter potentially. Like I, I want to try that. I, I might try a week where I do like a stream every day or almost every day, but each of them are like two hours. That's what Zabubu does. Who was telling me that? And I was like, you know what? That doesn't sound bad. It sounds interesting. It's, it's something I would want to potentially try. I might try different something in between that, where maybe I'll stream one extra day, but then instead of doing two four hour streams, I'll do like three three hour streams or something. Like, I, I don't know. I, I never specifically try and like hit certain times. It just kind of became a thing where I did four hour streams and and eventually I was doing streams that were even even longer than that. And uh, blah. I might even do one where it's one week I only stream on one day. But maybe I'll stream all day. Maybe I'll have like a morning stream where I do art. And then an afternoon stream after I eat lunch where I play video games. I don't know. I, I kind of just want to try out a bunch of different things. And see what I like. And yeah, like... Pretty much experiment. Like I, I want to keep streaming. Um, twenty-four hour Jack of Marathon. Yeah, twenty-four hour. You guys can watch me take a poop and enjoy it. And um, yeah, not a bad idea, right? I don't know. We could collab. We could experiment. Why not? Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. And here's the thing. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Cause I don't know, I don't know if I've ever disclosed this, but I don't, my streaming and sleeping situation is like a little, a little complicated slightly. Uh, I won't go too much into details cause I don't want to like disclose my whole life or whatever, but I, I don't stream where I sleep. 
I don't like stream at my house. I stream where I do like all my art stuff, but that's not where I wake up and sleep and stuff. Which is kind of why I stream at different weird times. Typically, like I don't start super duper late and I don't. And that's why I like have to leave and get dinner and stuff like that. I have a penthouse for streaming. <laughs> if only. Uh, so that's why like my schedule is kind of weird. Like if I streamed where I slept and stuff, I probably would do more streams. I probably would do like late night streams and be like, and feel like I could do them more often. But it's kind of like a thing where I have to like go to the place where I stream to stream and I have to make sure I have food and stuff. The Jackademia Studio. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so yeah, sorry if I'm being like kind of vague. I want to be vague because it's, I don't, you know, I, I can't really explain it live, but in a mansion. Yeah, let's just say I stream in a, a penthouse mansion up in the clouds. Do you have to commute to stream? Yeah, it's not like an awful commute. It's like 10 minutes. It's not a bad... It's not like bad, but it does make things a bit more complicated with like stuff and junk. <laughs> so that's like always been like a little bit of an obstacle because it's not like, oh, I could just quick like go downstairs for half an hour and eat dinner and then stream. It's like, no, I have to like drive and then eat and then drive back. You know, it's like it's it's a whole thing. So it's like. I don't know. It's 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 why I, I started out streaming early afternoons and not for that long because I would just stream before I went home to have dinner. I gotta, I gotta go soon. Bye bye. Bye, random artist. Also, today if you yo, what's up? I'm getting later, so I might leave now to check out some other stream and then eventually just sleep. Great comeback, still awesome as always. Bye bye, Samuel. Thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks for um, yeah. Thanks for everything. Thanks for, thanks for coming back. Uh, I hope you have a nice sleep. I'm sorry, Jacka, but this is a bad time to experiment. I hope your car gets good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> Great stream. Thanks. Thanks, Random Artist. I hope you have a nice night or day, wherever you are. Have a good one. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of why it's a little, it's a little difficult for me to do spontaneous streams, I guess. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. The stream now has kicked off a long spring break for me. Yo, Pog. Oh yeah, spring break's starting or has been going on for some people. A Kentucky duck, Kentucky duck, Kentucky tuck. Hi. Hello. Long time no see. Ha ha ha. Ha. Ends in April. Ooh. My spring break was in March also. Cuz I remember being on spring break when they like announced that everything was going to start shutting down for quarantine. In 2020. That's my last spring break. And Laurels! <gasps> Laurels! Laurels in the house! Hi, Laurels! What am I doing? What am I doing here? Okay, I'm going to... I kind of want to turn this into, like, channel art. This one this one drawing. This is, this is a nice drawing. I like it. I like the pose. So, I want to turn that into... an unsketched version. You kiddos and your spring breaks! Oh my god, Zaboo-Boo! Zaboo-Boo! 
Thanks for the gift sub da ba bo. Thanks for the gift sub boo to Laurels. <laughs> Thanks a boo boo. Enjoy Laurels. How are you doing, Laurels? It's been a while. It's been a while for me. How much time until the stream ends? Um, I don't know. When did I start? Like 4.45? It's almost been like two hours. I'm going to keep going until I feel like stopping. Um, if I feel like going for four hours again, I will. But I don't know if I will. Hello, what's the software? Uh, you can scroll down to see all my all my stuff, all my whatever's it's in the about section. But I'll say it's Paint Tool Sci version two. I'm one of the I'm one of those people who uses Paint Tool Sci. <laughs> it's okay ish. Hope you're okay ish or better. I am okay ish or better. Okay, you sure better. Not the real nut, Connor. Hi. Have I considered Klonoa too? Uh, I have, but I'm probably gonna wait till the remakes come out to play that. I want to play the remade version. But yes, it's me. I'm the real nut. Hi, Connor. I'm back. I'm back, baby. But yeah, part of what I'm kind of thinking, potentially, I'll, I'll see how, like, the potential of, like, doing more streams, but having them be shorter works. I'll see if I like that. If I like that, I could see it, like, solving certain things for me. Because for me, I only stream twice a week. And I like doing art. And I also like playing games. And sometimes I feel like I it's, like, too much space between. And, if you know, like, if I want to play a game, it's like I have to wait so a pretty long time between the streams to continue and it's like kind of uh, it's not always the best so i wonder if that would help and i also feel like there's more pressure when there's less streams because it's like i better make sure i pick a good one because it's it has to hold up for a whole whole stream and if people don't like it and if i don't like it then it's like uh i mean i could always just stop but then it's like then i gotta figure out something else to do I'm gonna be trying different things. So things are gonna be, things are gonna be a little willy-nilly coming up. Potentially, potentially your nillies will be willied. May your nillies be willied. <laughs> or may your willies be nilly. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. That's what it means. No more emotional damage game? What's the emotional damage game? Is that Klonoa? I finished the first one. I 100%ed that. I definitely want to play the second one. But I don't think that comes out till like July. Uh, Inaki, thanks for the follow. May our dillies be billies. I'll delay. Okay, um... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab this. Whoa. Yo, Anaki, thanks so much for the Prime sub. What the hell? Yo, thank you so much. That's like, that was fast. Immediate follow into Prime sub. Holy cow, thanks for being anybody. buddy. <laughs> That's what I say when I remember to. Thanks for joining the Goober Gang. <laughs> Thanks for being a peanut pal. Thanks for being an almond amigo. A cashew. Golly. Um. Cousin? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of subs today. Thanks so much, everyone. Yeah, people were subscribing while I wasn't even streaming and like gifting subs to people and like some people were like multi-month subscribing and I was like, what is going on? Golly. Golly. I was saying golly. I was going golly. 
peanut pal. Ow. Also, yesterday I had like a minor surgery. <laughs> so I had like, okay, I had, I don't like to call it a mole, but I guess it was like a mole. That's what they call it. I hate the word mole. I always thought they were called like freckles or like big freckles, but I had a big one on my back and my dermatologist was like, oh, maybe you should get that removed. And I was like, why? And she was like, just cause it's really big compared to the other ones. And I was like, okay. And then, uh, yeah, yesterday I had like, I went to this other dermatology place and they like removed it and they had to put like stitches in my back. So yesterday I was literally just like on the couch, like bleh, <laughs> bleh. And now I'm just kind of sore today. So my, my back is all like a little wonky. Just like small. Yeah, like why are they called moles? I guess they're called moles because it's like it's like a mole like poking out of the ground or whatever. But they just sound gross. Like every time I picture a mole, I picture like one with like a hair, like a single hair sticking out of it. Like it just it just doesn't sound nice. And it's it's really just like. I, I like I called it a mega freckle. It was a megal. Did I keep them all? Ew! <laughs> no. They took it. They put in a little thing, and I didn't even get to see. I just I literally just had to lay on like this bed, not bed, like doctor table, and they like numbed my back, and then just like took it off. It was like my upper back. Mac a mole. Ew. <laughs> no. Give Mac a mole a mole. Mac a mole. They look like diglets. Yeah, they, yeah, I guess they do look like diglets. Ew. <laughs> I just, I don't like, I don't like that association. It's just like, I don't want to picture like a mole, like a little burrowing thing, like on my body. Like that's, that's, that's a weird, that's a weird like brain association mind thing <laughs> I don't know <laughs> how big is this canvas let me just see. Oh, this is a big canvas. It's like 3,000 by like 2,500. Big ol' canvas. Did I end up finishing Arceus? No, I haven't even beaten it yet. I only beat, I beat the third area last night. <laughs> I've kind of been slow with it just because I've had a lot going on. And uh, I didn't have a Switch dock at my house for like the longest time because my, my little brother took it to college. So I like ordered one on eBay and it came last week. So now I've been playing more because I, I like playing on the on the TV when I can. back what I miss. Hi, Demo. Um, I don't know what you missed, to be honest. I drew all this, and I talked about stuff. And now I'm gonna take this one and kind of just make a, a version that I could potentially use for, like, channel art or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ba -ba. 
I invented two words, Fluffernutter and Meggle. I did not invent Fluffernutter though. Fluffernutter was a thing. <laughs> I just repurposed it. I gotta finish before Violet and Scarlet comes out. I'm making a video about it too, so I kind of do have to finish it. Well, my thoughts are kind of finalized on it, to be honest. Not like final finalized, but like pretty final. And I'm naked, yes. Welcome back to Jiggy! Jiggy! Pretty final? That isn't how final works? Well, it's like almost final. Semi-final. Semifinal. I've got semifinal thoughts on it. You know, like, I'm, I'm able to talk about it. It's not even going to be, like, an in-depth... 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 Review. Or anything like that. It's literally just, like... My thoughts and what I'm... Glad for in the game. So I kind of have to revise it a little bit. Because I kind of did get a little bit too review-y. I think. Because I don't want to be, like... Uh, I don't know. I'm cool with reviews and people who do reviews and stuff, but I don't know if I want to like be like making. Oh, this is a review of this game. It's kind of more just like my my current thoughts on Pokemon. So I don't want to like dwell too much on certain things. If that makes sense. Should make a point thing that makes you small like El Wee Wee. <laughs> El Wee Wee. Ooh. That could be fun. Puts me on a big finger. <laughs> Wait. Ooh. I could get a big finger. Anyone want to lend me their finger? For science? For science. We got pause. Lend me a bean. Could you please spare a bean? Could you spare me one bean? Please, please spare me a bean. A feather. One feather, one measly feather. Please! Just one! Just one! <laughs> I'm dying over here! <laughs> Money for the poor. Please, sir. I have some more. I just have a bean, sir. Please. I just want a bean. I want you to know I was going to make a dirty joke, but I didn't. I'm proud of you, but also express yourself. <laughs> nah, if it was like too... As long as we're all TOS, whatever that means. Does anyone even fully know what TOS is? I feel like everyone's just kind of guessing. Everyone's like, I don't know if that's TOS, but I'm going to be... I, I think I'm going to try and be safe. I don't know. I think it's I think it's kind of very hard to say as long as you're not like being like I don't know racist or anything <laughs> like that's like the, an obvious one but then there's like things that are more gray area like can I say boob is boob okay can I say boob Boob is okay. Boob. Boob, boob, boob. Boob is such a fun word. Boob. It just kind of like, it, boob. It kind of like bops off your mouth. It like bounces. Because boob. Oh yeah, boo boo. Boo boo. It, yeah, like boob kind of, it kind of like, it, it like jiggles in your mouth. <laughs> boob. Boob. Kind of encapsulates what it represents. 
in a weird way. It's a boob boob. Uh, it's a boob boob. It's a boob boob. <laughs> hey, Jackie, good to see you back. Hope you're breaking well. Hot pie. Hot. 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 Hi, thanks so much. Yeah, my, my break was pretty good. Well, it started off kind of bad, but it got better. I, I feel like I, I took a good amount of time to myself. And I definitely needed it. So thanks thanks for being patient. Turn the music up a little bit. I feel personally attacked. How is the show? What show? Did I see a show? Oh. Wait, what show are you talking about? Are you talking about the concert I saw? That was a while ago. <laughs> is that what you're talking about? Or is this something else? The regular show? It's anything but. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yes? Oh, it was fun. I really liked the openers. And, um... Uh, yeah, I saw Bad Sons in concert. And I, I had actually been told by a friend of mine that they were bad live. So I kind of went in it like thinking that they were going to be like bad or like not that good, but they actually sounded like not identical, but like pretty close to how they sound um, like on their recordings and stuff. So they were not bad live like at all. So yeah, it, it was fun. It was a fun concert. What genres of music do I like? It's kind of like hard to specifically say because I would say my one of my favorite artists, maybe my favorite artist, is uh, Porter Robinson. And he is technically an EDM artist, but I don't like a lot of other EDM. Like, his stuff is definitely different than like the typical genre stuff. I like, I do like a lot of like alt type stuff, I guess. Like, I like alt-rock and, like, I like indie pop. Um, I like, I don't know. I like things that are funky. I like, I like music. <laughs> EDM is a very, very genre. Yeah, but, like, uh, yeah, I guess it's broad. But it's like, EDM stands for electronic dance music, right? And it's like, my my older brother listens to a lot of EDM, and I would say like, a lot of the EDM he plays, I don't necessarily like, vibe with. Funky like Funky Town. Do take me to Funky Town. Me do do do. Funky Town. Funky Town's pretty good. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I could even check. Hold on. I could probably check like what I got on my Spotify rap way back when. I'll see what like my top five genres were from last year, according to Spotify. Although a bunch of them like sounded like made up. Na, 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 na. I like video game music also. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that was on there. My top five uh, genres from last year, according to Spotify, were indie pop, video game music, future bass, weird core, whatever weird core is, and bedroom pop. Those are my top five. Apparently. 
And my top artists were Porter, Porter Robinson, uh, Sega Sound Team, <laughs> uh, the 1975 Underscores, and Kevin Crowder. Weird Core. I don't know what Weird Core is. I think Weird Core, I looked up Weird Core, and I think like uh, Caro Caro Bonito was in there. Um, probably like, yeah, I guess bands like that. Bedroom pop. Is that just slang for fuck music? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, bedroom pop would be like Claro. Bedroom pop, I think, just means like pop songs that people made in their bedroom. And it's kind of got like a sound to it. Yeah, Caro Caro Benito is great. I actually don't listen to too much Caro Caro Benito. Like, I, I've not, like... I, I don't listen to them like I do with other bands where, like, I listen to, like, the albums and stuff, but the songs that I have, like, from KKB, I, like, I do really like. I'm like, oh, this is... This fucks. <laughs> this is good. Christian the Hedgehog. Hi there. Hello. How are you doing? Welcome. Zuzu listens to Dream Core, I bet. Oh, I bet. I bet. Zubu loves Dream. <laughs> Music to make babies to. There was like another one that some people got. It's called Bubble Grunge. I don't even know what that is. Bubble grunge. It sounds funny. But that, like, I feel like Spotify also kind of made up words for like the genres last year. Is the Boo Boo Dream Stand real? For real? Yes. Very real. Last time I checked. Boo -boo 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 -boo. Thanks for the confetti, Kentucky. Kentucky ducky. Kentucky. <laughs> Zabubu only listens to mask on repeat. <laughs> That's what the point of the mask is. That's what the point of the mask is. <laughs> that song's so funny. Uh. I was dream for Halloween last year. I don't know if I said, but I literally just took a paper plate. I wore my dream shirt that I had to buy because I lost a bet. I lost an odds are. And then uh, I, I made a dream mask out of a paper plate. And I what I did was I took, I took a, a regular mask, like a breathing air mask that we've all been wearing. And I, I, I like taped it to the back to the inside of the paper plate. So that's how I attach it to my face, which I actually thought was pretty genius. You were dream, why haven't I seen this? I didn't show everyone, I didn't post it on Twitter or anything. I do have pictures though. Of me looking very gangly and dreamlike. So who said hi? I swear I just heard a hi. Who said hi? It's Edward! Yo, is it Edward? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Picks or didn't happen. I don't have the picks on me. Did I find out what the point of the mask is? Yeah, the point of the mask is to make it really hard to breathe. So, and really hard to see. So that you can incur the most physical damage possible while wearing it. That's that's the point of the mask, as far as I'm aware. I cut like two little slits to look out of. Uh it was funny. It was funny. <laughs> and I wore it to a little Halloween party. In this in the city. 
but so many people didn't know who I was. They were like, who are you? And I was just like, uh... And then I had to explain what Dream was to people, and I felt... I felt like a fool. I was just like, uh... You know Dream? The... The Minecraft YouTuber? And they'd be like, no. And I'd be like, oh, well, he's a really big Minecraft YouTuber, and, um... <laughs> And I, I, and then I had to explain that I lost a bet so they wouldn't, like, be like, oh, and you, like, not that there's anything wrong with watching Minecraft YouTubers, but the people who are judging me, you know, I had to, I had to, I had to let them know the truth that I, I, I don't personally watch Dream. Because that kind of makes the costume more funny than me just being a massive Dream stan. Like, it was a funny costume because I was somewhat forced to doing it. Makes me happy that people don't know who Dream is. Yeah, I kind of thought everyone knew who Dream was. I think that's just because we probably spend too much time on Twitter. People who don't even know what VTubers are? Yeah, there's tons of people who don't know what VTubers are. That's what I'm saying. Well, you're not on Twitter, Zabubu, but... Twitter and online things. You should go out as Jack and Amy for Halloween, then you'll have to explain to even furries. Yeah, they'll be like, what are you? <laughs> Scout 2. Furry VTuber cringe. What? 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 I can't believe this. I don't believe my ears. <gasps> oh my Jika -jaka -jaka. god. Jika -jaka -jaka. Jika -jaka -jaka. Wow, Fio, thank you so much for the resub for 10 months. Hi! Wealth is in the house. Wealth in the house. How how from a We don't have how how We don't have half of a laugh. We have one whole wool. I'm sorry that did not make any sense. Yo, what's up, Well? No. There you are. Shout out to Wealth. If you don't know Wolf, Wolf, I don't know if Wolf hasn't streamed on Twitch in a while, but Wolf does cool stuff on YouTube and plays piano, and it's very nice to listen to. One Wolf, <laughs> one Wolf, yeah, one half of a Wolf, no, two halves of a Wolf, two, two Wolf palfs equals one Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> ah, my hat, my hat. I forgot you have yours. I do. <laughs> That's funny. Hi. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, and it said my name right. Kind of said my name right. Red Spice is here. I just got up. Uh, well, good morning. <laughs> uh, and Yandere, hi. Yeah, I am back. What's up? I'm back. I'm back, baby. Had my big break. I... Uh, I cherished it. <laughs> and now I'm back. And I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be playing around with, like, my schedule and, like, how I do streams in, like, the coming weeks. So, things might be a little willy-nilly. I might be streaming and you'll be like, what? Jack never streams on Tuesday at 2 a.m.? I probably won't do Tuesday at 2 a.m., but, you know, you never know. I'm going to be figuring stuff out, so it might be a little weird. I missed you, Jacka. Uh, I missed you too, hour film. <laughs> what band do I like that's criminally under... Criminally underrated. 
Um. Hmm. Hmm. Thanks for the pet, Endler. What band do I like that's criminal criminally underrated? Criminally. Criminally underrated. There's definitely a lot. I I don't listen to a lot of like mainstream stuff. I listen to a lot of indie stuff. And when I say indie, I don't mean like I don't mean like the indie that everyone knows. I definitely do listen to people that meow. not a lot of people know. Yo, RFM meow. <laughs> Thanks for the 420. 420 420 bits. Thanks for the bit those. Bitos. Studio Killers. See, I haven't heard of Studio Killers. Yo, and thanks for the gift sub. Oh my god. Yo. To Weiss. Weiss Bunny. Ooh. Enjoy. Thanks so much, Arafan. Thanks for being anybody. buddy. I cherish you. I value you. You are valued and cherished. <laughs> I looked up appreciate synonyms and I'm going to try and start using them instead of saying appreciate all the time. <laughs> um, let me see. Very criminally underrated. Criminally underrated. I really like... Okay. Oh, there's this one band that's pretty new. Um, underscores. They're really, really good. If you like, if you like a uh, hyper pop at all, and even if you, even if you're like a little bit iffy on hyper pop, definitely check out underscores because they're kind of like hyper pop, but like very, very good in a way where even if you don't like something like hundred gex, there's things in underscores that you probably would like. Um, and they're definitely very underrated, but they're also kind of on the come up. So I would definitely check them out if I were you. Uh, if I were you. I found a bunch of fans kind of recently. Yo, six months, let's go. Yo, sleepy techno kid. Hi. Yo, six months. Thanks so much. Thank you for the resub. I hope you're doing well. When you're gonna make an emote of us grabbing you? Uh, maybe eventually. <laughs> Once I get... I don't know. Once I get the urge. <laughs> um, I like James Ivy. He's really good. He's very underrated. He's kind of got like a 2000s kind of sound. Uh, and he was an opener for Porter Robinson when I saw him. Who else? Um, I like Pine Grove, but I wouldn't say they're like underrated. Um, there's this one kind of EDM artist that I found called uh, Former Hero. They've got a bunch of good songs. I don't like all their stuff, but they've got some really nice songs. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? I'm like kind of just looking at my rotation. Ba -ba -ba. Wave Racer, that's another band that's good. If you like, if you like Porter Robinson or like the 1975, Wave Racer is kind of like a, a mix of both of them in a way. Why not both? <laughs> Ninja Sex Party. <laughs> Are they underrated? I don't know. They're. <laughs> did you just say Porter Robinson? I did earlier. I feel like Porter Robinson's also underrated, but not like as much as these other people on this thing. Uh, Kevin Crowder, I really like Kevin Crowder. That's K-R-A-U-T-E-R. -E Yo, CB Techno, what the hell? Thanks for the hundred bitters. Thank you. I'm writing all those bands down. Definitely, I I definitely recommend them. Uh, but 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 Tennyson, Tennyson. That's T-E-N-N-Y-S-O-N. -N -N. I really like Tennyson. He's kind of does like more like lo-fi kind of. 
he has like a whole like kind of lo-fi type album but then he also has he made a new album recently that i that has a bunch of songs that i like a lot my friends don't really like him that much but i i like their stuff um rex orange county if you haven't listened to rex orange county i wouldn't say rex orange county is underrated at all like some people are like oh rex orange county is indie but i don't know if rex orange county is indie kind of not but i i like rex orange county Uh, the Japanese House, they're underrated. They're really good. Field Medic, I think this is the last one I'll say. Field Medic is really good. I feel like kind of folk, folky songs, but it's like folk mixed with like R&B kind of a little bit. I don't know. Dayglow, I do like Dayglow. Dayglow is good too. I like Sunflower by him. Wait, Sunflower by who? Oh, by Rex Orange County? Oh, yeah. I actually haven't heard that one. I haven't listened to a lot of... I need to listen to more ROC. ROC. Lou Bega of Mambo No. 5 fame released a new version of the Macarena a, few, a couple months ago. What? A new version of the Macarena. Was that needed? I don't know if that was needed. Was it good? I knew Dan Avedan only from Game Grumps, Game Grumps for the longest time and only recently learned he has a freaking band. Yeah. He's like, um, he's done like covers and stuff. Like, Danny Don't You Know, that song's really good. Yeah, like a bunch of their songs are, are really fun. I really like the one, the cool, what was it? The cool crew, cool patrol. <laughs> like the songs are funny, but like they're bops too. And they, they, they get a lot of like um, help with like the instrumentals from this other band called Twerp, T W E R P, uh, and they do like really funky kind of like Daft Punk ish like uh, tracks, which are also really good. Oh, is there no E? Oh yeah, I don't think there is any. E. I think it's just T W R P. Medical relationship is totally underrated. I haven't heard of medical relationship. Which, yeah, that, that proves your point. <laughs> it's like darker. Lou Bega tried to modernize it with a new deeper bass, but instead it sounds for lack of a better word, predatory. <laughs> predatory? The predatory Macarena. Macarena's menacingly towards you. <laughs> He's just standing there. Macarena-ing. Wait, that's so funny. Why? What, what would possess someone to redo the Macarena also? Like, I don't think anyone was ever like, you know, I wish they had an updated version of this song. It's like such a, it just is what it is song. I've never heard one person complain about like the state of the Macarena. Like, gosh, I feel like the Macarena is really missing some extra bass. I don't think anyone cares. No offense, Lubega. Cool Patrol? Yeah, Cool Patrol. You gotta listen to Studio Killers, they're an animated band and their songs are bangers. Yeah, I've never heard of the Studio Killers either. Are, are they related to the Killers <laughs> in any way? The Killers, but now in a studio. That's a joke. <laughs> In case you were wondering. Studio Killers are great? Okay. A bunch of you are saying that, so... I believe you. <gasps> Melson! Melson Nandala. We back, baby! We back! <laughs> Hi, Sean! We're back. It's true. We're back. We're back on the air. 
Back on the waves. It's happening. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Fun fact, the killers actually killed someone. Lie. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you just immediately disproved your fact within the fun fact. That's good. I appreciate uh, the journalistic integrity. I appreciate that. Thank you. Like, have you ever had someone, like, fully convince you of something that's just, like, outright a lie? I feel like there's been people in the chat who have done that to me, like on stream. I feel like it's happened. I can't remember w what it was about, but I, it definitely has happened. I can be pretty gullible. Yes, it happens all the time at work. <laughs> I've done that to you? you? Yeah, I feel like you would have done that to me. Too, though. That's not that far-fetched. actually believe onion articles some of them some things in the onion it's like it's like this just seems like like is it <laughs> is it like it's it's gone past the point of parody where it's like is it even parody anymore because like stuff like this actually does happen <laughs> but yeah people they really have to teach like in school now or they really should like just teach like internet literacy and stuff like how to spot things that aren't true you know like how to look for sources and stuff because people a lot of people really don't know how to do that like at all and that's why you have people who believe like the earth is flat and shit because they're just like I, remember, I saw it on the internet and i want to think i'm smart so i'll believe unpopular opinions at this point they look pretty real yeah right they look pretty real now like it's gotten to the point where it's like this isn't that unbelievable <laughs> the queen of england there is no queen of england there is no easter bunny there is no tooth fairy and there is no queen of england But yeah, there should be an internet BS 101. 100% there should be. People gotta... We need help. <laughs> we need help. The internet experiment has gone on and it has not been fully successful. There have been some successes. But there have been many a fallen soldier You literally have the entire world at your fingertips. So there's them playing. Of uh, yeah, I mean, it's done good. I, I had that little Twitter poll just because I was curious as to what people thought if the internet has done more bad than good. I would say, I mean, it's definitely, it has, obviously all the good stuff is there. It's just very easy for the bad stuff to, like, that's why it's so bad. Like misinformation and all that junk like it's it's very it's easier for that stuff to affect certain people than it is for the good stuff like because all the good stuff is there and you can easily find it 
It's just some people don't. <laughs> So I was surprised. I wasn't surprised. People always focus on the negative. That's why the news is always so negative. You know? Because it's like a survival thing. It's like bad stuff sticks out in your mind more because it's more... Typically, it's better to think of that like or remember things that could potentially be bad so that you keep yourself like safe. You know? If you look at it like through that kind of lens... It's like, oh yeah. I should note that there's a murderer on the loose because I don't want to be murdered. I should remember that. It can make sense, but it definitely sucks also. I want to purposely spread misinformation. Oh, God. <laughs> Has social media done more good than bad? See, yeah, I would take... I don't know. Social media... On the one hand, like, this is social media, right? Like, Twitch is social media on some form. Because this is a social thing that is happening. And it's also media. Right? And there's following and stuff. So this is social media. YouTube social media, too. I would say social media doesn't have to be as bad as it is. But, like... The algorithms and, st and stuff make them way worse. Than they would be otherwise. Which is unfortunate. It was just gonna kind of just start teaching us about the bite of 87. The bite of 87. Yeah, imagine. I want to go to MatPat College. <laughs> I want there to be a MatPat University where he just teaches you, like, all the theories for like video games and stuff <laughs> he'll teach you about how uh rosalina is peach and luigi's daughter from the future and how mario is a psychopath no a sociopath mario's a sociopath Jump Mario Jumpman Mario is a sociopath. But hey, that's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. You're a sociopath. Algorithm TM could be used to improve social media in the same way it makes it worse. It could be, yeah. It's just they're more... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. It's just unfortunately a lot of things just prioritize profit over like people. That's just capitalism, baby. This is what you need. Gonna melt the embarrassment. <laughs> In fact, MatPat actually worked with algorithms and how to take advantage of them of with before becoming a YouTuber. Wait, really? 
Or are you are you doing that thing I was saying before where people convince me of things that aren't true? <laughs> I know he was a theater kid. And I wouldn't be surprised. Actually, I, I think I did hear that. Did you know that Michael Afton actually worked at the FNAF restaurants for five nights, except the FNAF 2 restaurants, which he only worked there for six, for night six? What? <laughs> I, okay. What you need. This song's so funky. It's actually true, unfortunately, I'm an old school game theory fan. I feel like I did I feel like I could picture the image of like of him in like the office or something. I don't know why. Hey Jack, guess who? Hi Zenpixel, what's up? Um, who else should I guess besides your <laughs> your username? Hi. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who else should I guess. Yeah, right. Who else would I guess? Pen Zixel. Do you know the writer for The Simpsons was in the Navy? Matt Groening? Or Greening? However you say his name? Or no, he's the creator. Yeah, did you did you write The Simpsons? The Simpsons? Is Zabubo a Simpson? Our tail's so hard to draw sometimes. Okay, that looks pretty good. Not a simp, you're just cute. Aw. <laughs> Aw, thank you. But yeah, stop simping. Stop simping. Conan O'Brien actually wrote one of my favorite Simpsons episodes. Conan O'Brien. Ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think a simp would do that. Would blow me up. Simpsons is worse than Adventure Time, no comments taken. I don't know, I don't think that's a fair comparison at all. I love Adventure Time, Adventure Time's like my favorite cartoon. But they're like completely different shows. <laughs> you could you could argue like, oh yeah, like they kept Simpsons going for too long and now it's bad. I would say that, yeah. Because Adventure Time was pretty much great like the whole time. <clears throat> but like of all time now nah, even still I mean even still they're completely different shows I mean they're both like comedy on some level but one's like a family animated sitcom type thing that's like saying like what is that like saying I 
I don't know what that's like saying. <laughs> One Piece is better than The Simpsons? Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> Did you watch the Region Adventure Time specials? Yeah, I've, I've seen everything. Literally everything. And yeah, I've heard about the Fiona and Cake show. They're gonna... I don't know when that's coming out. I'm excited for that because it's gonna have, like... Um... Simon Petrikov in it. That's, like, the most exciting part of it for me. ba 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 can Luffy beat Homer? <laughs> can Luffy beat Homer? Oh my god, a Luffy versus Homer fight? <gasps> March, there's a strange rubber man in the house. <laughs> Get him, Homer! Get him! Don't let him beat you, honey! <laughs> oh my god. Would Homer just eat him? I don't know. I mean, they're both kind of dumb. Luffy and Homer. I feel like... No, I mean, Luffy would definitely, like, win in, like, a physical fight. But, like, I could easily see Homer winning through, like, some dumb circumstance. Where, like, he accidentally, like, traps Luffy... And something because Luffy's always getting trapped. It's like a Goku situation where it's like, oh no, we have to wait for Luffy to fight this dude. They actually don't do that a lot in the show, but they did do that a bunch in the beginning, which I thought was kind of a, a little annoying. Oh no. Oh no. We got Homer vs. Shaggy. Homer vs. Shaggy. Okay, wait. Can that happen? There's like that, uh... There's that, like, Warner Brothers... Oh, no, because that's not Disney. Because Homer's owned by Disney now. Damn it. There's that, that fighting game. That Smash clone. That's coming out. That's got, like, Steven Universe and, like, Shaggy and, like, Bugs Bunny and stuff. But now Homer's owned by, uh... Homer got bought. By Disney. That sucks. So now we, we can never have Homer or Shaggy. I can see them having some sort of eating contest. Yeah, Homer and Shaggy. That's also the thing. Luffy also eats, like, a ton. That's also his thing. I guess all three of them would eat a lot. <laughs> can he beat Goku, though? Who, Luffy? I don't know. Or Homer? I think Homer could beat Goku. Who do you think's a better... Uh... Who do you think is like a better like husband slash father? Homer or Goku? I know my answer. Uh, DDS, thanks for the follow. Didn't Homer literally physically abuse his son? True, but Goku's like never there. And he also made his, he made his son like fight like 
this dude who was like planning on like destroying the world when his son was like 10 or something or like 12. Yeah, Homer fucks up. Goku's like never there and he also puts his son like in danger. I want to see tryhard anime power scalers apply all that effort to eating contests. Yeah. <laughs> Cited sources of who can eat who under the table. Oh my god. Who can eat who? Like, they're eating each other. Like, you're having, like, a, a vor off. Oh my god. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. No. <laughs> you said who can eat who. <laughs> oh no. Dude said, I, I only said it because that was what was implied. It was what was implied. Spoilers? Spoilers for Dragon Ball? I don't know if this looks good. <laughs> Goku has had two kids, but never has canonically kissed his wife. Wait, have they actually never kissed? I haven't watched Dragon Ball, you're spoiling it? This isn't, I mean, I haven't even like, I didn't even say who the villain was or anything. Like, It happens multiple times. I've never seen the original. Uh, Dragon Ball, either. I've only seen Z. And Super. Which is not that good. <laughs> um, But yeah, all, like, that's, uh, all the... All the power scaling stuff is so funny. Some people get, like, so into power scaling stuff. Like, oh, this guy's more strong than this guy. And this guy, blah, 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 blah. Like, that started happening with, like, Marvel stuff. I remember, like, people would be like, oh my god, like, Captain Marvel is the strongest, like, canonically the strongest, uh, like, Avenger, and could, like, canonically defeat Thanos in, like, two hits, or, like, stuff like that. I Every time, like, that kind of stuff comes up, I'm always, like, uh, like, I roll my eyes, I'm like, I'm like, man, I don't care. Like, the, yeah, the person who would win is whoever the writers want to win, you know, because... I get, sometimes it's yeah maybe it's like fun to think about with like certain things like oh who would, like death battle like who would win superman versus goku but like i don't know so, sometimes it gets like annoying people get annoying with it when they like use it to justify like why a character is like good it's like i like this character because they could canonically devour the sun what a charming personality Who would win, Zoro or Peter Griffin? <laughs> That'd be Zoro. Zoro would chop him in half. Working my way through this really obscure anime called like Jojo or something. <laughs> Jojo's. I like Jojo. Shonen Phantom is like its own beast. Those guys love power levels. Yeah, they're all like power levels. Power, power. Who's the strongest? <laughs> Like, it just becomes, like, uh, I don't know, like a circle jerk at some point. <laughs> like, I'm not saying it's, like, I could see where it can be fun, but I definitely think some people take it too far. To the point where it's, like, okay, now you're just, you're, you know, like, like just let the writers do what they want. It's all hypothetical anyway. I don't know if I like this arm. Which is why I put on a different layer, so I can always replace it. We'll see.
you just like how I care for stats and Pokemon? <laughs> um, no, I mean, I get it. If you're into competitive, then it makes sense. But yeah, for me, I, I don't know. I never really cared. I never like took the time to like fully learn and understand it all. I guess. So I, I don't really care. I, I just pick whatever Pokemon I, I like. And you know, I mean, like obviously, if they're like super bad and they're like immediately dying, then I won't. I probably won't use them that much. But you know, I j I don't like when they like completely take over enjoyment. You know, I mean, if if you're if the way you get enjoyment from the games, or whatever, is through um. Like competitive stuff, then you know that makes sense. But just like I don't know, I think like it has its own place. A dick measuring contest. Yeah, that's yeah, <laughs> that's a better analogy. They did vision dirty. Oh yeah, that's like a whole- that's like another whole thing. Everyone's always- you know? I feel like once you get into like power scaling and stuff, it does make certain stories harder to tell too. Because I am sure there are tons of people who are like, What? Thanos could never beat Vision. Vision blasts an infinity stone in his head. That makes it so impossible. Why was he defeated so easily? And stuff like that. And it's like, I, I could see where you're coming from. But also, it's like, I could also see why they wrote it the way they did. Like they honestly probably were just like running out of runtime. <laughs> they were like, okay, we gotta, we gotta wrap this up. We're gonna get rid of the Vision versus Thanos fight or whatever. I don't know. sparse. I wish I stopped caring about natures. That's really the main thing that bugs me. Yeah, like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the natures mean, and I'm, I guess I'm kind of glad I don't know, because if I did know, yeah, maybe I would be like, oh, man. I'd be like, oh, this Pokemon's amazing, and then I'd be like, oh, Rowdy. Is Rowdy a nature? I don't even know, you know? I'd be, it would, they would kind of, like, taint it. I'd be like, man, why did I have to have that nature? Do the physical attack you want, Jolly? No, don't tell me! Don't tell me, Zabubu! Don't teach me! Don't teach me. I do not see it. I'm closing my eyes. I'm closing my eyes. Golly! I do not see it. <laughs> Is it gone? Can I open them? Oh no, I can't read- I can't read chat to know if I can open them. No. Well, I guess this is my life now. I'm just gonna keep coloring and see what happens. Uh, uh, I'm guessing it's like around here. Probably doing this right. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Oops. Oh no. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm perfectly fine with not knowing everything about Pokemon. Because I don't know, I don't even enjoy- I don't enjoy the competitive battles that much. I've definitely- I'm more of a fan of like action type competitive things. Cause like with Pokemon, there's so much that goes into it. I know like, it's like, oh, you gotta make sure your Pokemon has the best nature. Make sure it has the best EVs and IVs. And you gotta make sure it has the best move set. And like, you have to learn all that st 
stuff and also pick the ones that are good and then it's like it doesn't it's like if you don't know any of that and it's not fun but then learning all that doesn't seem fun and then you're just doing like what everyone else does that doesn't seem fun at least not to me golly golly There's so much strategy and counterplay yeah, like, I'm, I'm sure, like, eventually it gets to be kind of like chess, but I don't even know how to play chess. Like, <laughs> this is who you're talking to. I don't know how to play chess. I never learned. It just disproves the whole it's boring thing. That doesn't disprove it. That's just my opinion. <laughs> I guess I guess it might disprove the samey thing. Yeah, I probably would. Like, there's a there's definitely a reason why people do like competitive Pokemon. Like, I'm not saying like, oh, it's dumb. Just I don't like it. I don't play video games. I do crosswords and jigsaw puzzles like a good duck. Crosswords. Do you do Wordle? Kentucky Duck, do you do Wordle? I've been doing Wordle. I lost my streak, though. I, I had two days in a row where I got Wordle wrong. And it was... I was so sad. <laughs> I was so sad. I just do it when I have breakfast. You can play chess or Darkward or Soma. Somebody's nuts. Have you ever played any chess variants? I've played checkers. <laughs> Is checkers a chess variant? Would you describe that? Gotta do today's world, yeah. I forgot over the weekend. Which I hate. <laughs> I was like saw the Batman over the weekend and I, my thought was oh I'll do it when when I get dinner after because then I got dinner with my friends after but then I forgot I forgot because I was too busy having like conversations <laughs> to remember to do my wordle <laughs> I played Mirror once and then the amount of people playing on social media and it scared me anything that omnipresent intimidates me Oh, what? Like, you felt like you didn't want to be part of, like, the hive mind <laughs> of Wordle players. I guess I can understand that. I was more just like, what is this Wordle thing? And then my friends started doing it, and then I was like, I'll try it out. And then I was like, oh, this is fun. It's like a fun little thing to do while I, like, eat my breakfast. That's literally when I do it most of the time. So Batman, how'd you like it? I really liked it. Uh, I haven't really seen like the Christian Bale movies. I saw like The Dark Knight, like, but I don't really remember that much from it. Like, I didn't pay that much attention. So I was kind of younger, and I don't know. I didn't follow it that much. I like remember. So I remember some scenes. I remember like a bunch of the really good scenes, but I don't remember like the whole movie. And I saw the Justice League movie, and that was awful. So I I really liked uh, the Batman. I was like, oh wow, this is actually just like a good movie. Like it was so pretty, and it just like felt very, it felt very moody, which I liked. It was it was a really good movie. Not like perfect, but I would give it like a solid eight, I think. See the orange tabby? What? <laughs> In the movie? I didn't... If I did, I didn't acknowledge it. <laughs> Every now and then I get this massive hankering for Sudoku nonograms. I really like... My favorite kind of puzzle like that? It's probably like uh, Picross. 
I I don't know. I like I like Picross. I started doing Picross. I got like Picross 3D on my DS like forever ago. Um, and then I did like the the 2D ones also. I did, I played like Pokemon Picross on my 3DS for a while. Picross is so good. Picross 3D is super fun too. Yeah, like I don't know. I like I like. I like it a lot because it forms like a little picture. Like it appeals to like the art part of my brain too. Because it makes like this nice little pixel art. And it's also a puzzle. It's like logic. Nanograms are Picross? Oh. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, because Picross is just like the one brand. Yeah, it's made for me. Yeah, well, yeah, Lord, you do like you do like awesome pixel art. So, yeah, that's so cool. Have you ever been like inspired by like a Picross? You're like, oh, like it makes you like look at pixel art differently. Or gives you like an idea. They're releasing the Professor Layden games on mobile phones. I've been replaying all of them. I've never played Professor Layden, but they they've always looked really like charming. Let me get the word onto my sixth guess. Oh. Oh. I forget what today's wordle was. I won't say it though. I won't spoil. But I forget. Do manage to do some cool stuff on a 5x5 slash 10x10 space. Oh yeah. The giant, giant pit crosses though. Those can get like tough. This can take like a while. Is 10x10 the biggest actually? I'm not sure. My pixel art skills help me finish puzzles just by figuring the picture sometimes. Feels like cheating. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't even think about it like the other way. Yeah, I wonder if that would help. Yeah, like if, you, if you're familiar with pixel art, I'm sure like can help a lot. Hi. You're saying hi. <laughs> Rhymy noodles! Rhymy noodles! Hi! How are you doing? I forgot about the Wii U Me Maker music. Yeah, I found it. I think like after I started my break. And I, I yeah, I forgot about this. The Wii U. The Wii U. Wii U like menu and like Me Maker music is so good. It really makes me wish that the Switch had like menu music. Well, like, this is, like, the best version of the Me Maker song, I think. Or it's, like, definitely the most beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> okay. I'm probably going to finish coloring this, and then uh, we'll raid someone. Probably Chris. It's been like, it's been three weeks. <laughs> I just saw they went. Yeah, that's what I saw that too. <laughs> that's why I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, it's coloring while reading. How are you doing, Noodles? Fuck. 
Wait, why is it? Were, were you gonna stream? Don't worry. I I will I will raid you someday. <laughs> Maybe. I thought you said you stream from six to eight. It will it will happen. Probably don't want to. For anyone who <clears throat> wasn't here earlier, my schedule is gonna start being a little willy nilly because I'm gonna be kind of playing around with when I stream and for how long and stuff. Um, Cause I wanna, I don't know. I wanna see what I like more and see if there's a, a better way for me to do streams. So don't be surprised if I'm streaming on weird days and more often or less often, but I will be streaming. I was planning to stream early and read you afterwards, but you started early. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, it's been a while since I've streamed at 4. Hill has. That's why I was planning on getting one in real quick beforehand. I was literally at work. One quick little real stream. Quick little Soma. Are you done with Soma? Oh yeah, I think you are. Didn't you say you were playing... What did you say you were playing last night? <laughs> Early bird gets the worm. Or is it the bagel? The bagel. God, I love bagels. Bagels are so good. When you make a bagel, do you put cream cheese or butter? Cream cheese, butter. Well, guess what? I do both. I do cream cheese and butter. <laughs> I, I, I toast the bagel, I put butter on it, and I let the butter melt, and then I put some cream cheese on it. I don't do like an insane amount of cream cheese, but like, I do both. Cream cheese, lox, and capers. Lox are good. I didn't think I would like lox, but I tried them, and I was like, wait, these are pretty good. It's definitely like its own thing. Like I wouldn't always have lox. Like I wouldn't consider having a bagel with lox a replacement for just having like a normal bagel. But they're good. Just joining her butter and butter. Welcome drama llama panorama. Drama llama panorama. <laughs> yeah, I, I was asking, uh, when you have a bagel, if you have bagels, do you put cream cheese or butter? Bagels aren't really a thing over here. Are they good? Uh, I'm from Long Island. The bagels on Long Island are really good. Other places, they're not that great. They're like, all right. <laughs> they're kind of just like, they're like, uh, I don't even know how to describe a bagel. They just, they are, they're bagels. They're like, you know, the shape of a donut, but you cut them in half and it's like all soft bread on the inside. And usually you put like cream cheese or butter on them. You toast them. It's like a breakfast slash brunch kind of thing. I really like bagels. Something about a bagel, like you can't replicate with other foods. You can also have like bagel, you can use a bagel for like an egg sandwich. That's pretty good. Those are pretty tasty. Half and half like the milk. Yo, Drama Lama and Pamarana, I do cream cheese and butter also. 
Wait, that's crazy. We're the same. We're the same. We're one and the same. I actually learned that from my little sister. Like she just did that one day on a sesame bagel. And I was like, what? Cream cheese and butter? And then I tried it and I've, I've like, <laughs> I've literally never gone back. <laughs> I love the butter. Melted butter plus cream cheese combo. Okay, the arm looks pretty good. I might tweak it, but honestly not bad. Yeah. We just need the white of the eyes. Do 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 It's like the best collab. It is. <laughs> Long on Bagel Boss Bagel hits just the right spot. Bagel Boss. Bagel Boss Bagel. Something about bagels. The fresh bagels. Ugh. Oh, they're so good. Now I want a bagel. Damn it. Damn it! There's there's a bagel place like literally right up the street from my house though, which is like amazing. I would catch Shaq if he was a Pokemon. And then like <laughs> I would throw the Pokeball so hard. <laughs> and then what? Enslave me? Make me do do your bidding? fight people for you. It's kind of fucked up. Or would you or would, uh, would you enter me in contests? That'd be kind of fun. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Oh. I can't decide if I want little finger beans too. No, those look pretty good. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. with one of those contest dresses, like the Pikachu or whatever. <laughs> There's a bagel place right up the street from my house, too. Huh? Are we long lost brothers? <laughs> what if you lived like right next to me? <laughs> if only. I'm streaming from inside your walls. Shh. Just go back to sleep. <laughs> Ah, oh, this looks good. I like this. This looks really good. I might move the eye a little. Hmm. 
Nut. <gasps> Webster! Nut! <laughs> Hi, Webster! Thanks so much for the resub for 13 months. 13 Supreme. Thanks for being a nutty buddy. I... Hold on. I... I, uh... I acknowledge your... Uh... Your subscription. I cherish it. <laughs> I treasure it. I really treasure... Your... Uh... Support. <laughs> I'm trying to use as synonyms for appreciate. Instead of saying appreciate all the time. <laughs> Thanks for the acknowledgement. Of course, of course. Of course. What's up? I'm returning to streaming in some form. I was saying earlier, but like, I'm going to be experimenting a lot with my schedule and like when and how I do streams. At least that's the plan. That looks better. That is the plan. Ooh. This looks really good. I like this. <laughs> I like this. is like one of my favorite little, little Macamo drawings I've drawn. Honestly? Honestly, you yeah. I acknowledge your acknowledgement of my support. Well, I, uh, I value that. I recognize that. I am cognizant of your acknowledgement of my acknowledgement. Of your acknowledgement. <laughs> Did you set all Makamo? I like that a lot. Yeah, I think so. It's kind of a thing. It's like Makamo is the character, but also when I inhabit Makamo, I, it's Jackadamia in a way, sort of. Because, I don't know. <laughs> but the character itself is Makamo, yeah. This is a good picture. This is a good picture. I'm proud of this picture. I I like this. Let me save it. Oh my god, I haven't saved this entire time. Wow. <laughs> oh. Oh god. I have not saved. I think I might even use this for a reference. This is a much better reference than the one I've been using. I acknowledge your existence. <laughs> Macamo could use a Macamo. No. Do you like possess Macamo in your stream to become Jackadamia? I don't know. What's a Macamo? Macamo is the name of this character. Or Mo. For short. Jackadamia is like my brand. That's what I've decided on. That's my brand. But like, I also I don't care if people call this, if you call this character Jacka or even Jackadamia, like I don't care. I'm not gonna be like, oh no, that's not the name. Like it's it's kind of they're both the names. It's just if I were to ever sell like official whatever or something or like present this character, I'd be like, oh, this is my character Makama. You know, because Jackadamia sounds sounds more like a brand than a name. In my opinion. Also, hi, Hayes. Wait, I didn't even realize that was you. <laughs> my brand. Yeah, Jack and Amy is my brand. It's like Chris possessing Chester, or is it the other way around? Wait. <laughs> I'm possessed by Makamo? I kind of am on some level, probably. But yeah, I mean, like, tons of people have characters or avatars that have different names than themselves. Or whatever. God. God. <laughs> People are gonna give me so much shit for having Cinnamon as a name. <laughs> cinnamon Whiskers. <laughs> I'm gonna call this character Nerd. Wha what? What the fuck? 
I ain't, I ain't a nerd. I ain't a nerd. I'm a, uh, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. It's just a question of time until makeshift contacts you. I... Yeah, well, I don't know, I, I've heard a lot of people actually are... A lot of times people actually reach out to makeshift. Rather than the other way around, also. Like, that's what, uh, that's what Chris did. With the Chester pushes. Uh, they, they reached out to makeshift. And then they were like, okay, we'll make a Chester plush. So, I feel like at some point I might. Like, honestly, maybe after I release my next video. Nerd, but also cool and cute. I'm a cute nerd. Curd. <laughs> I'm a curd, a cheese curd. You know what? Cheese curds are good. They're just like chunks of cheese. <laughs> cheese junk. Is that Mr. Valentine, the Dean? Hi, Dean. You should do it. I probably will at some point. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I I will at some point, I think. I would love a little, a little plush. Hi, Jack. Hi! What's up, Dean? It's been a while since I've streamed. Shout out to Mr. Valentine. That's my friend Dean. He's cool. He's cool. It's true. Oh yeah, also while I'm at it, shout out to Webster. Of course. Webster's also very cool. Oh, you know, also while I'm at it, shout out to Zabubu. Zabubu just recently started streaming. <laughs> and Zabubu's also very cool. Three very cool people in a row. All lined up like little ducks. Although only one of them is a duck. So it's like a duck foster family or something. I've also been very slowly figuring out my schedule. Yeah, like, yeah, I I, I feel like I, I'm in a similar boat to you where, I don't know. I feel like I was kind of, I was going about streaming in like a way that didn't feel super healthy to me and uh i want to play around with it and see if there's some other way i can do it that makes it more more chill and cool and less stressful on some level i was thinking that i had to catch your stream i'm glad i'm glad you showed up dean i'm glad you're here is the Macamo plush gonna be jar size? Asking for a friend? Ah. Oh. You could probably like squeeze it into a jar. I'm looking at the Chester plush. It looks like you could probably squeeze it into a jar if you like really like went like ugh, like maybe a big jar. You put it in a big jar. It'll be big jar sized. <laughs> yeah. Everyone here is an honorary duck. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Can we get a hey shout out? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I have never capped one of Hayes' streams, but I'll shout out Hayes, sure. Hayes has, like, a super adorable VTuber. Like, one of, like, the cutest things I've probably ever seen with my eyes. Like, I was like, oh, my God, that's, that's adorable. I felt a bit creatively strapped and want to have time for other projects. Yeah, like, I kind of, maybe you'll relate to this. Maybe some of you guys will relate to this, but um, I definitely feel like I have, like, as far as my creativity goes, I have, like, a, there, what's the word? I have, like, a finite amount of, like, creative energy that I can, like, put forward at once if that makes sense like i can't i can only put so much energy into certain things and like i i realized like this whole break i've had i was like oh wow like i actually feel like 
I can work on other things. Like I, I can write for my video. I can work on this other stuff. Like, I don't know. I, I felt like a bit like creatively sapped from focusing so much on the streaming. It was like once I like gave myself a break, I was like, oh yeah, now I feel like I have the energy to like do other stuff. Like if I have like a creative battery, it's like it gets drained by every like creative thing I do. Even just like posting something on Twitter, like for me that like that drains some of it. Or like maybe maybe the other way to look at it, it's like it's like a, a hoe. A hoe meter. You know, like I, I like the attention. I'm an attention hoe. And um if I get attention from doing certain things, it makes me feel less motivated to try and get it from doing other things that I would do otherwise. Like if I post a drawing on Twitter, I feel like my hoe has been filled <laughs> for a little bit. You know, it's like, it's like, oh, I feel not like completely creatively satisfied. I'm not like, damn, that tweet was a banger. But like, it, it does take a little bit away from it. That like desire to make something bigger. I think one of my problems is that I'm incapable of half-assing a project. I just go full bore, like, if I stream, I also make jingles and create assets. It just dominates my entire creative process. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, on one end, that's, like, a it's really good much, thing. But wanted to save these extra last bits oh. for next time you streamed. Nice seeing you back. Yo, Lucky Halsimer, thanks so much. Thanks for the 50 bits. I'll, I will... I value those. I will prize them. <laughs> Thank you. And yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for waiting. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, what was I saying? It's good to go all in, but then also, yeah, it can be draining and then like you don't have the energy for other stuff. Like I, I definitely feel like I do that. I'm very bad at focusing on multiple things at once, especially for myself. Like, if it's for other people, I can kind of do it, but if it's just for myself, I'm kind of not the best. Oh my god! Ugh. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> I saw a Science of Pixar exhibit at the Cincinnati Museum Center, and now I want to learn 3D modeling. That's another thing I want to learn. I want to learn 3D modeling. Like, I have, I have a bunch of things I want to learn and do. And I, that's also something I'm kind of thinking, like maybe with, um, if I stream, if I change the way I stream, I, I could even like stream other things like that. Like I could stream, if I like view streaming in a different way, cause like I, I'm at my desk working on stuff anyway, you know, if I was able to do that and maybe stream some of that stuff also like that, that could be one potential thing. I'm a little iffy about that though, because as you can tell, when I stream, I get art and stuff done way slower. <laughs> like way slower. Not sure if you noticed. Uh, I think this is done. Kinda. Yeah, I don't know. It's done enough for now. Maybe I'll look at it again tomorrow and see if I want to make any changes. But I really like this. Feral, feral Jacka, become feral like me. What? Feral. That would be El Wee Wee. <laughs> El Wee Wee's just like, Where's that? Where's my wee wee? Right? Hold on. Uh, El wee wee. <laughs> kind of like feral, right? I don't know. Or I guess that's domesticated. I don't know the difference. So small. 
Oh yeah, and it's Mario Day. I forgot about that. I forgot it was Mario Day. Happy Mario Day, I guess. Let's just make that one a plush, the little wee wee. That could work. <laughs> okay. <sighs> well, I think I'm winding down. I'm done with this drawing, at least for now. Little dance. Yeah, I don't know. All right, good stream. Wrong one. All right, uh, we'll probably just raid Chris. Let me see who's live though. Oh yeah. There's a lot of people live. Yeah, we'll we'll raid Chris. Um, thanks for the confetti. And, uh, what? Oh, hi, Crazy Lito. I saw you coming before. I forgot to say hi, I think. I'm sorry. No, yeah, this, this stream started at 4.30. I know, normally I start later, but this one started early. Um, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, I will be streaming again. Uh, don't be surprised. My, my schedule is going to be different next week, for sure, because I think Tuesday I might be going to... A hockey game with my Golly. family. Uh, even though I don't watch hockey, I might be going to that. And um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to be trying out different stuff. So if you really want to know when I'm streaming, uh, there's the Discord role. If you're in the Discord, the stream team, that I always update. And usually I'll say something on Twitter, but uh, actually not that often. I feel like I don't like to annoy people on Twitter with my streaming notes, but. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna stretch and hydrate. <sighs> Appreciate the streaming. I acknowledge your oh, thanks, thanks. I I cherish you all. Ow, ow, my bones. <sighs> okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna get the. The raid started. What should the... I guess Return of the Nut, right? Or Jacka is Backa? Which one? <laughs> what should we do for the raid message? I'm just gonna stay here until you get back. <laughs> just gonna wait in the chat. <laughs> Somebody's nuts. I'm not playing Soma though. Jacka is Baka. I do like Jacka is Baka. Okay. Baka. Jacka is Baka. Somebody's nuts. Jacka is Baka. <laughs> Baka. Can I find the emojis? Oh, here they are. Uh, start that thing. Ba, 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 ba. That is back up. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right, there's a the raid message. Uh, we're gonna be raiding Chris. If you don't know them, they're super awesome, wonderful streamer and very cool, nice person. And um, they're playing Elden Ring right now, I think. So yeah, so yeah. Thanks so much, everyone. Uh, I really, I don't wanna say appreciate. <laughs> I really admire and hold in high regard. Uh, your guy, you guys, I don't know being patient with me and my break and all that. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know what's going on in the future. But yeah, thanks so much. This has been a fun stream. <laughs> I acknowledge, I acknowledge you all. 
my knowledge has been act. Ah. So thanks so much. Uh, uh, end screen. Hope you all have a wonderful day and weekend. If I don't stream tomorrow, I probably won't. But you never know. I probably won't. <laughs> but yeah, have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Peace.